Wow, that was a weird transition. Hello, everyone. <laughs> There we go. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Good morning. Bam, bam. Up the game a little bit. Uh, okay, that it's. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Okay, that's better. Three pairs twin birds are more than resonances. resonances. What does the up to this to this day I'm still wondering what does the what does the event name mean? What is an inverted more than resonance resonance? <laughs> I need answers. But yeah, I'm drinking some Pepsi that I was drinking with my cake breakfast cake. But I, I I want to get a, a drink for once I'm done. <laughs> we were hoping you could tell us. You you were hoping wrong. Do not come to me to try to decipher what Mika means by the titles. Like, I mean Divine Heresy kinda makes some made some sense. Since it's about like al the alternative evolutionism. Like with the subtitle thing, you know, but what's an inverted more than resonance? Something to do with a musical note, I see. Also, yeah, I forgot to greet everyone. Hey there, Lamp, Panzer, Cat, Bellhound, Heartman, and uh, Juancho, my beloved. <laughs> That's played in a specific way. That's what more than means. Oh, we're learning. We just started and we're already learning English. Thank you, Mika. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was farming the vent a little bit because you need to like unlock story by accumulating like points. So I, I had a I had some unlock. Hopefully it'll be good, it'll be enough for like a stream. I don't have all the story unlocked yet, but uh, hopefully it'll be enough for today. But yeah, in on. Completely unrelated news relating to my car. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still reeling from this. I discovered yesterday, keep in mind I have this car for like a year or a year and a half. I just I discovered yesterday night that I can you know it has that system that can I can start it from far away. And I was like, what the fuck? Why did nobody tell me this? <laughs> I'm still reading about it. Yeah, remote start. I I had absolutely no fucking clue. Like I had this little button on my on my key on my keys. Yeah, it's great for the winter. I I wish I will have found out like in January instead of like in the middle of March. But <laughs> I had a cold car all winter. Yeah, I park outside at work, so I'm just like, this, this knowledge will have been useful like three months ago. Oh yeah, no, good news, good news. This car has only been good news so far, not like my previous car. We don't talk about my previous car. <laughs> the, one, the one that got totaled by a truck. <laughs> we don't talk about it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, I want to visit like my uh, my there's a there's a tenant living right now at my future place later. I'm going to move in like July, uh, but there's currently a tenant at the place. So I want to visit him. I went like I dropped by not to visit him. I dropped by because he had like mail, but like he's a very nice guy, you know, so he invited us in with my sister since, since my sister hadn't seen the place like in person, only in pictures and we were talking. And like he also told me like how he got a, a Hyundai, you know, a new car. And he was going out, you know, and he shows me the keys. He shows, and he's like, oh yeah, it has like, does you, does yours come with this? And he shows me like the, the little button 
my key my keys have a little button that said hold for ever since I got it I've been wondering what that button is for and he's like yeah that's for the remote start you didn't know they didn't tell you and I'm like no I didn't know <laughs> And he's like, yeah, yeah, you just press like the lock button twice and then like hold hold the button, the, the the button that says literally that says hold until like the little light on top flashes and there you go, your car starts. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Normally they throw that kind of feature in your face. Yeah, I'm all like... I'm like, nobody told me. And I, I don't remember being among the features. I didn't look at the features that 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 closely, though. Because honestly, I was just like, yeah, I need a car and, and I need something that I can go come like pick up like tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, we are like this one and we got this one. Like, the, like, do you wanna you wanna like take them for a drive test? I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. So I got the... There was a venue and a Kona. Like, I got the Kona. And because my mom loved it, I'm like, yeah, get that one. Like, if you need money, I'll help you pay. Just get it. Like, I like it. I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to get that one. Let's just sign everything right away. And they're like, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. We're just going to, like, you know, sign everything, do the paperwork, and you come, come pick it up tomorrow. And I just went the next day, and I'm like, yay, new car! And I had no fucking clue that it had remote start. <laughs> Features four wheels. Yeah. And like the guy, the, the, like my tenant was surprised because he was like, oh, how come you had like the top of the line car? Because as I said, it was just like, I told him like, oh, it's just because this is the one they had like available and I needed a car like urgently, <laughs> like very badly. <laughs> So this is the one that had like they had like right there at the store at the moment. So like I didn't look into the features that deeply. They were like, oh yeah, this is the one. And, you know, it has like, and I because I started going, you know, it has a sunroof. It has like the forward sensor thingy, the the other sensor to keep your car in in in, in the in the road, you know, in your lane. It has leather seats, it has a sunroof, um, heated seats, and like steering wheel, blah, blah, blah. He was like, how come you don't have a remote start? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, isn't, isn't, wasn't that like an extra thing? And he's like, no. And then I threw him my keys and I'm like, you have remote start. And I was like, what? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, it's one of those that you press, you know, that you press the button to start the, 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 the engine, right? And I'm like, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, it does. It, it does. You have it. Or, like, he showed me. And, like, then we went to see my car. And, like, yeah, your car is running. And I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, heated seats. Very nice for winter. So, yeah, that's my story of how I've been sitting, I've been getting into a cold car all winter when I could have a started it from, like, inside my job. Like maybe like five minutes or so before going out and it will be warm instead of being cold as fuck but anyway enough enough about me let's let's move on let's move on to let's 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 move on <laughs> I was farming, as you can see. To try to get more... More thingies for the event. Whee! I got a stool! Let's fucking go. Oh, ooh. I uh, got this. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. I'll look into this later. <laughs> Just cut off the game and now I'm watching you stream it. Let's go. Uh, 
はよう。I don't know why it went for Croc, but you know, you're, we're just gonna keep her there. But yeah, first, I have 30 pulls and a dream. <laughs> Make your bets. Streamer lag, let's go! I summon you, streamer lag. Rip. Did I get like, did I just get like four Chelsea's? <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. But hey, she's cute. I mean, yeah, but she's not Nasira. Come on. <laughs> Because then I don't have I don't have money to spend until next Friday, so. <laughs> Come on, I had to pity Python. Treat me well, game. Do I have enough sand to get another one? Yes. <laughs> my, my, my streamer lock is so... Sometimes it works, sometimes it's just like, no, fuck you. Okay, I have enough for another one. Sometimes the streamer log is to log for real. Well, um, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys next week for more pulls. <laughs> I'll probably pull during the week. That was that was the that was that that was what I had for today. <laughs> I don't got more. A good stream, yeah. No, I have not finished the endless explorations. So I'll probably do that during the week. I hope I've only finished it in Rossum. Rossum? I think. Yeah. I finished it here. And I think I was on the last level on Cyclops. Yeah, I'm trying to do 400. How can you finish them? They're endless. That's my secret. Yeah, no, I have a lot of free pools left. And like, look, I'm a level. I'm also here. I'm like on floor 35. So, <laughs> so more, more pools will come. I was just hoping to get her so I could start raising her. But I guess I guess I'll just die. Pool parry. I didn't start in black hole. <laughs> I started it when it came out and I went like, eh! And when... At the point when I had to actually... You know, look at the screen and play. I was like, okay, this is as far as I go. The weekly thing? No, I, have, I haven't touched. I haven't touched that, I will confess.
I know I should because like the pools, but it's it's kind of a pain. <laughs> because you can't you can't auto it. <laughs> but yeah, I've been told the event is very fun, so we're gonna check that out. Uh, how's the audio? How's the music? Is it like good but not overpowering? It's not that bad. I'm just I'm just gonna wait until they I know they're gonna put that out of thing for that. Alright, let's go. Along that 15 more algos, let's go. The algo the algo farming never ends. Now let's see, a strong gun is always tense will eventually lose its flexibility. But relaxing isn't a thing that happens by accident. Let's see. Okay, we start already with someone talking to me. I don't like this. Are you nervous, Kiruko? Humst? The silver-haired girl presses her butt against mine. Yo? She raises her eyes ever so slightly, and there is an unfathomable expression there as she meets my gaze. Oh! Maidens? Already? Oh yeah, I've heard limit value, it's like the play. Are you uneasy because of your current situation, or are you simply feeling reserved because you're alone with me? Regardless of which one it is, I believe my feelings are the same as yours. In the book of fate, our names are both written on the same line. Perhaps my heart simply can't help but flutter when you are by my side. And you? <laughs> um. Um. Oh. I. And why would I be uneasy? I am. I feel very uneasy. It seems the mood in the air has infected me. Because I end up speaking that on Polish line without even realizing it. How could I protect you if I were in Isi at a time like this? She smiles upon hearing my answer and lightly takes hold of my hand. I go with the flow and gather her into my arms in a protective manner. The dark forms surrounding us seem to be startled by this and cease their threatening advance. I'm so happy to hear that. Did you know? Before I met you, I always felt that I was alone all my life. But now, we will be able to bear this together, whether or not we find the answer in the end. She squeezes my hands tightly, her eyes brimming with emotion. So please, Take me away from here, away from this endless prison. If, in this moment, you are willing to be with me... I... <laughs> um, I... I... <clears throat> hey there, Persicaria. Holding, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're. I mean, they're wearing gloves. The professor is wearing gloves. It's fine. It's protected hand holding. <laughs> <laughs> she, she appears right in front. Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Persicaria, what are you doing here? Protected hand holding. 
<laughs> made it worse. I'm sorry. Could you please not look away? Err, uh, I... She talks on my sleeve as Persicaria walks toward me. My brain kicks into high gear, trying to figure out exactly how things ended up like this. <laughs> uh, record scratch. You might be wondering how I got here. <laughs> Several days ago, at the Oasis. What was that about? Man. I'm still blushing. Whew. Thank you for your hard work, Professor. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yes, please, and thank you. Are you still compiling the resources from the other sectors? <laughs> Bit of skinship, don't worry about it. Yes, it's quite a lot of work. Well, we are working with more and more sectors now. It's all thanks to your efforts. I mean, oh, my accomplishments. Uh, collective efforts of all the exiles. You're too humble. Shall we relax after all our work is done? Of course. I'd like a chance to thank everyone for their hard work too. I suddenly remembered her Valentine's event. I mean, Persicaria, I mean, and I'm like, sheesh. Did you guys get that one? <laughs> the ending line of that one still, still hangs in my brain, leaves in my brain rent free. However, we don't have time to consider that right now. After all, the origins of the Entropics are still a mystery, and there have been traces of the Entropics in other sectors recently. Not to mention, there is no telling when some kind of new incident will pop up in Magrasea. Speaking of... Before I can finish, somebody suddenly flings the door to the ops room open. Bagger! Or Gremlin! You got all of them by forcing souls to work triple overtime? Wow. I didn't manage to get them all, but I did get Persicarias and... Yeesh. That final line about like... Tasting coffee in your mouth. Even though you were drinking coffee, I'm like... Mm-hmm. I see. Anyway, our favorite gremlin is here. <clears throat> this is big, Professor, a big opportunity. And right after I say that... Persicaria Brainer is right after that scene. I know! I'm like, sheesh, alright. <laughs> Have the ring already. <laughs> Kudo, aren't you supposed to announce yourself before coming in? You're too old-fashioned, Persicaria. This is the digital age. Time is life. Time is traffic. Who's got the time to announce themselves anyway? Ah. Or are you saying... I love her blushy face. I love that expression too. I love Kudo. <laughs> you are actually doing something with the professor that you didn't want to be interrupted, hmm, Persicaria? <laughs> Oh, her blushing face gets me every time. Hmm, let's get back to business. What is it? Tch, lame. Look, Professor, it's good news. Kuro doesn't explain herself and rushes up to my desk, shoving a black card with gold edges into my face. Ta-da! You're surprised, right? Right? Burbank Sector... Celebration? I carefully opened the exquisitely wrapped invitation. There is a trendy-looking bracelet and a tour guide card inside. Yep, yep! This is the crystallization of cyber media's technological prowess. Prowess, 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 prowess. 
an invitation from the Burbank sector where Nanaka and I once stayed for a while. <clears throat> Man, I can't make... I can't do my Kuro voice. That's fine. <laughs> Not like I have a particular special voice for her. Burbank sector hosting a new festival and they even made an invitation to the Oasis. No matter how you think about it, it must have been the divine might of the great Kuro and Nanaka that made them bend the knee in abject submission. So, do you want permission to head out? <laughs> that's the professor for you. Looks like there's no need for me to beat around the bush with the wise and brilliant professor. Okay, okay, stop kissing my ass. If you give Nanaka and me permission to head over to the Burbank sector for a while, we promise we'll come back with the latest and coolest souvenirs. No. <laughs> eh? Oh, I get it. Looks like you're still bothered by that joke from just now. Fine, I'll apologize then. Persicaria, it's my fault. I should have teased you. Since you're a magnanimous person and all, can you find it in yourself to let me go to Burbank? <laughs> uh, that's not it, Kuro. I understand you want to have fun, but it's not safe to leave the Oasis carelessly nowadays. But why? Haven't we pretty much taken care of the entropy virus already? Have we? We found a new strain in the health sector recently, and the medical department needs some time to analyze it. All of this may be a, pre a prelude to something, so we need to be more vigilant. Also, there's something strange about this invitation. Something strange? I noticed something about the way Persicara is looking at it, and so I turned the tour guide card over. There is a bright red lipstick print on the back. Hey, you? Oh, uh, of course it's addressed to me. <laughs> Dear Kuruko. Hey, Metal! No, I'm used, I'm still reading the first part. You miss me? Throw away 50 poles for Nasida and not get her. So, yeah, you didn't miss much. <laughs> What's wrong with lipstick prints? Marketing tactics like this are perfectly in line with the image of the sleepless city, you know? Uh, according to the card, it seems that as long as we visit them and show this card, the Bourbon sector will assign us a specialized agent tour guide. Oh, since she's a Bourbon tour guide, she must be a super hottie. You must be a really popular professor. Sounds kind of fishy to me. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's quite too suspicious. We let an agent from the Burbank sector know the professor. Don't worry, Persicari, I, I my heart belongs to you already. That's hardly strange now, is it? The professor's got such a steer across my grassia that even I'm starting to think that they've got a talent for generating buzz. But what if... What if what, Persicaria? Kuro stomps her feet and her drone flies wildly in circles around the ops room. Persicaria's concerns are justified. Let's make sure the place is safe first. I picked the troll options to see Persicaria's reaction. That is so valid. I love her flashing face. And especially the one where she's like blushing and has like the spirally eyes with the with her ears like flopped down. I, I think they don't flip down. That's another expression I'm thinking about. But God, she's so cute. <laughs> Saying so, I key up my communicator. Antonina, have a look at... Got it. Well, that's Antonina for you. To figure you figure it out in an instant. High speed scan complete. The electronic signature is fine and it does look like it came from a power bank agent. One who's on the level of a sector administrator. 
Hey there, airborne. We're just ringing the uh, the intro. You see, even Anna said so. It's Antonina. The transmission ends. Surely it's okay now, right? Honestly, the basis is so boring because you guys are all so by the book. You don't have any movies or games either. That sounds boring. And recently, even that Foxwell who springs new stuff over hasn't been coming by. <gasps> what happened to my child? She must have thought there was no business here because you're such a stick in the mud, Professor. At this rate, the Oasis is going to become an old folks home. It's normal for Rico to not come by for a while. After all, she has things to do in other sectors. <laughs> what kind of no retirement home are you running here? <laughs> it's fine. That said, I'm a little worried about things on Rico's side. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen Rico around recently. Maybe that's why the overall operant coordination work has been so tough lately. We're missing a currency trader. Where's my daughter? Ah, I didn't come here to listen to you bitch about all that crap. Alright, now she can curse. She's not she's not being censored anymore. Ah, I've got it! All I need to do is leak this. Shocking news! The professor and Persicaria were secretly planning a stuff like this in the office. Kudo, you... <laughs> you little gremlin. After watching Kuro's fake tears come to an abrupt halt, I'm at a bit of a loss for how to respond to all this. Still, you do have a point. Huh? Professor? What do you mean? Haven't we been managing operand allocation between the various sectors lately? Yes, the Rosum sector, the Cyclops sector, the Helios sector, the Enigma sector. You must be referring to the sandbox barriers around these four sectors, right? These four sectors were fairly closed off in the past and they lack experience in communicating and interacting with other sectors. Their progress with them has been quite a challenge. If only Rico could come back soon and help us. Where's my child? It's just like you said. This work is hard not only because we don't have Rico, but also because they're closed off. We need to make content with a sector that has more traffic flow. That way we'll have more channels for operant distribution. If I get posted, my games are gonna be so lively. <laughs> oh yeah, I love Kuro too. Puzzle is Gacha too, right? She's coming like after, I guess. Now that you mention it, the Burbank sector is very large and they have many agents who are used to moving operands around. It's definitely a good target. Also, Nanak and Kuro have a great deal of influence in the Burbank sector. They might be able to form a bridge with the Burbank sector for us. Hmm, you have a point. If we had the Burbank sector's help, we would have had an easier time investigating the entropic attack on Helios sector sometime earlier. But I still think this invitation is suspicious. We can't really say that. It wouldn't be strange for the Burbank sector to have heard of my name, but the timing is a little weird. Have our recon teams scouted the vicinity before? I don't think so, because the recon teams have always prioritized the surroundings over partner sectors. Then we can have them get a feel for things before we consider taking action. Though we might end up missing the festival. the banner next week I would like for next week when maybe the week after I can't remember for for divine heresy I remember it came it was the lazy first she was on for I can't remember if she was on for a week or two I think it was two weeks before her tutorial came ah, you roll way too tied up in this consideration business just leave it to the great kudo and sent. What did she do? Was successful. What? The incoming message alert suddenly begins going off non-stop and a huge pile of red dots appear on my screen. 
or no notifications. Oh, did she like message everyone? Hey, 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 prof. Is it true? Are you really going to take us to Borbank to join their festival as a thank you? <laughs> thank you so much, professor. We've been waiting for this festival for so long. Although I can't go because I'm working on a new project, I guess I could forgive you if you help me queue up to buy limited edition festival merch. Oh hey, Croc is fine now. <laughs> Love the fucks for the voices. Thank you, I try my best. <laughs> Cheeky brat! <laughs> hey, senpai! Kuro, what did you send? Oh, nothing much. And deleted! There's no point in deleting your send message log. <laughs> Can you really bear to let everyone down after they've gotten their hopes up? For the sake of everyone, who have been working hard without complaint. Um. As I look at the excited faces in the comps interface, the rational answer seems to lodge in my throat and refuses to be spoken. <laughs> Since everyone knows already, if we can convince the Burbank sector administrator while we're there, then it won't have been a wasted trip. Professor, by that you mean... It's for you! <laughs> it's for everyone. Do it, it's for you. <laughs> you know you want to? <laughs> I want to take you on a vacation too, Persicaria. Yeah, the blush! <laughs> ah, my heart! I understand. In that case, I'll start organizing our files for negotiation with the sector administrator and arrange for the appropriate personnel to... Meanwhile, Kuro will begin packing her bags right away. Time to crack open the champagne. Woohoo! And thus, the curtain on our journey to Borbank Sector rises amidst activity and bustle. The blushes. Yeah, I'm weak. I'm so weak to blushing Persicaria. You are not immune to blushing Persicaria. Old friend. In a place where the lights are always on, it seems as though an old friend has come. Ooh, furniture. Uh, which set is this from? Is it from the photo set thing? Because I'm only missing one. I need furniture for one room, and I have all my dolls. I have a lot of. I have all all the all the rooms done. Several days later, outside the Barbeck Sector Firewall. We're here at last! Oh, it's further for the big room. Ah. So what do we do now? Wait for someone from the Barbeck Sector to come out and welcome us? No, 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 you're way too old-fashioned, Professor. Behold! Open sesame! Kuro takes out something and waves it in front of the sector firewall. Online visitor detected. Not performing identity verification. What's this? It's the electronic bracelet that came with the invitation. This is proprietary tech for the Burbank sector. All we need to do is swipe it and it automatically verifies it automatically verifies your identity and locks you in. <laughs> That's Nanaka for you. She saved me the trouble of explaining all that. How do you like it? Why are you blushing? Only because she spoke. Sounds pretty neat. Don't they use those at swimming pools, do they? Don't they use them in like music festivals too? Sounds pretty neat. Oh yeah, I bought the arcade, uh, the arcade for the big room too. I love it. <laughs> what a half hearted reply. You're not messing with me, are you, Professor? A 
identification successful. Welcome to the barman sector. Oh, the authentication went, went through. Everyone, let's get on in first. I love this sector! Look at all the Nanaka. Also, there was a screen with Kuro. So, this is the big city Riko was talking about. It's past Microsoft's midnight by the time we arrive, but this city is still brightly lit. Look, there's Nanaka there, there's Nanaka here, and there's Kuro here. And there's flying things with the screens? Holy shit. I love this place. The dazzling neon lights, the clamor of people's voices, the holographic performances that can be seen anywhere. All of them constantly stimulate our senses. Oh wait, it's a screen. Oh, uh, This one. And number one of this week's top songs, Rebirthday. Browsing the channel, Mysterious Guaro is having a special performance at 8 tonight. I'll be waiting for you on the festival stage. Great deals for you at the Puppy Disco. We're now offering transformation services. Free your true self and come dance the night away. What was that? It really is something else. An entertainment hub of this size will be hard to find even in the real world. Yeah, I mean, in the real world, there's like war and stuff, so... <laughs> puppy Disco, Puppy Disco. That's that's what it was called. Puppy, puppy Disco. I did not make it up. Puppy Disco. And they offer transformation services. Free your true self. I come nice the night away. That's for forests, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, this place is just too cool. Oh, they even have open air theaters here. Is that huge thing over there the main stage? Who's that in black over there, anyway? Hehehe, <laughs> the way you guys are making a fuss about everything makes you all look like country pumpkins. Whoa, there's a multicolored kitty by the side of the road. That's an egg for you. <laughs> Looks down on everyone. Nanaka is a cat. That's my girl. <laughs> this thing, I swear to God. <laughs> That's Nanaka for you. You've got a gift for spotting beauty. Hey, no fair with the double standards. <laughs> These are not double standards. I'm simply shifting the benchmarks according to the person in question. <laughs> Whoa, look at that study over there. Are you even listening to me? Ew, it looks kind of creepy when you look at it, at it close up. The fuck? Cute? Question mark? Why does it have a dead bird? Soul's attention is drawn to several strangely shaped statues amidst the carnival parade. They're painted in dazzlingly bright colors and have excessively showy poses. When combined with the incredibly realistic way they've been carved, it looks as though they might come to life at any moment. What's so creepy about them? Have you never been to an art museum before? I don't know anything about them, but anyway, you slice it, these guys don't look like they belong in a festival, right? Oh no, I want to sneeze. Ah! The cutting edge of art and festivals go hand in hand, of course. Even if your neural cloud can appreciate this sort of thing, surely you don't need to tremble in fear, right? I'm not trembling. I just found them suspicious and I went on the defensive on, on reflect. 
Po? You're not scared, are you? See? Poke? Hey! Thanks for the sub! I don't know why the sound didn't go off, I think. But thank you, thank you! Hey! You actually touch it! I mean, it's not like there's a sign saying please do not touch around, right? What so? Oh, it did go off? Oh, that's that's probably what I heard. Like, I heard something, but I wasn't sure what it was. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, it actually moved? The slumbering is tied with lights up and suddenly lurches into motion, knocking Kuro to the ground in an instant. Well, rip Kuro. I love her eyes. Actually, I need to know who Nanaka's artist is. I love, I love the art. Kuro! Crap! <coughs> ah. Sharp claws swipe at Kuro, who is lying on the ground. Sol draws her sword and blocks the attack, but she loses several strands of hair in the process. You will not be. What? What's going on? This guy is strong. Sol's strength gradually loses out to the massive statue, just as it's about to hit her head. Cease. Soma suddenly appears behind the statue, and with a wave of a hand, it freezes the statue in place. Clack sound. Sol! Uh, I'm fine, but this person... Oh! The strength lifts Sol for a moment, and she has to lean on her sword for support as she looks up at the smiling, silver-haired girl before her. Why does she have to be so smug? I apologize for the fright, esteemed guests. You are... Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eos, Eos, the tour guide agent for this Burbank Sector Festival. Are you Kuruko of the Oasis? I can sense the tour guide card you brought with you. I subconsciously back up a step as I look at the smiling Eos. What's the matter, Professor? Don't you think he looks very familiar? Familiar? Are you friends with someone as pretty as this? Are you talking about similar appearances? Many agents are mass-produced, so it's true that many of them will end up looking alike. But her signature states that she's from the Burbank sector. By familiar, are you talking about... Her signature, hmm? Well, that's true. Agents identify themselves through their signatures. Nanaka, did you speak to any tour guide, tour guide agents while you were in the Burbank sector? I do remember Lord Elsphorus. <laughs> so I'm just like here, like, eyebrow raised. Well, I wasn't particularly familiar with any of them. I understand them, more or less. Oh, were you expecting me to further verify your signature, Professor? Do you mind, Miss Eos? Of course not, by all means. Did we meet him in person? Yeah, we saw him, but like, we saw him... We saw him once. And like, I think he was like, flying over us. You know, in uh, Pierides, with the whole wisdom thing. Io sweeps her hair back and exposes the sleek nape of her neck. Hmm, 
Yep, it's all there. Don't worry, professor. She's a Balafira tour guide. Uh huh. Still, don't you think her looks and style of dress look kind of like a certain someone? So you were there. Come on. Well, I su <coughs> well, I suppose she does look a little familiar. But her signature says that she's an ordinary agent. Can you fake signatures? I've analyzed her signature. It shows no signs of being edited. Not even an administrator can clear signature edit logs that easily. Therefore, she should be safe. But if it were that person, then they will have higher access than an administrator. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I apologize for startling you, but these statues are not dangerous. Rather, they are the guards for this festival. They simply detected a potential destructive act and made to apprehend the perpetrator. Kudo. Seriously? That's a pretty unreasonable guard, don't you think? Kudo tries to step up in a menacing way to demand an answer. But after seeing the huge statue behind Eos, she suddenly returns to the night and fight. <laughs> Go so hide behind the Naka. And it looks so scary too. The person who made it must have been a weirdo. I want compensation for psychological damage. You're fine. I know she's ill first, but Eos is making me feel things. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. Like deep in my heart, I know, but also I'm like. But also it's not like I mind, it's not like I, it's not that I mind, it's not, not like I mind, you know? <laughs> it was a failing on our part for subjecting our esteemed guests to such fright. We sincerely apologize. I am sure it will not have caused any trouble if it could tell that you were our honored guest, Miss Kuro. Hmm? You know about me too? You are a great manufacturer of ours, Miss Kuro. How could we possibly forget? We will circulate your data to other guard studies and instruct them to treat you with the greatest respect. <laughs> You're <laughs> sort of an interesting hobby there. Yeah, I'm just like, why are you doing it here? And why are you a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Not more like it. At least you know how to do your job. Also, from like the very short, very short interaction we had with him before, it's also acting very differently. So I also am just like, what if it's all a ploy? What if it's not actually Elsorus? <laughs> and the game is just playing tricks on our minds. That's more like it. At least you know how to do your job. Is the handling of the situation to your liking, Kuruko? Or should I say, Professor? And the music doesn't help. We gave him chocolate, clearly he liked it. True. We make some good chocolate, apparently. Man. Uh, what's your aim? So, you're still wary of me? I am simply an ordinary tour guide agent. My job is to show you and your friends around this festival. Still, you're dressed quite plainly. I thought the Bourbon sector agents would be more liberal. Just based off your outfit, I wouldn't be surprised if you were a sanctifier. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Oh, did you finally... Do you finally make the connection, Persica? There are many fashion trends in the Bourbon sector. If you so wish, I can serve you with a different look in the future. However, could you allow me to retain this appearance for the duration of the festival? Eos looks at me with a tender expression on her face. I carefully study my surroundings, but I don't see signs of other sanctifiers. Could it be that she is just here to fill us out? In any case, this is a good chance for the Oasis. 
Besides, there's no telling how much havoc it will cause if we were to force her to reveal her true form. I see. We'll be counting on you to show us around then, Miss Eos. So how do you say? Do you say Eos or Eos? Because I mean, it should be... It should be Eos for us, I think, in English? I guess Hispanic brain goes brr. So it means like Eos. It will be an honor. Eos smiles, as though she is very happy with my response. When she turns back to the others, she assumes her role as a kind-hearted and hard-working tour guide. First of all, please allow me to distribute these festival bracelets to everyone. All expenditures and tipping will be conducted through these bracelets in order to facilitate billing. Burbank's, stimula Burbank's simulated weather is permanently in night mode, so we use the position of the moon to tell time. The moon has not fully risen yet, so we can visit the shops on the periphery at leisure, at leisure. Please do not be alarmed if you run into a surprise show or event during the process. Rather, feel free to participate. This is pretty good! It's nice and lively, kind of relaxing in a way. After that, there will be a performance at the Cres Crescent Theatre. If Miss Kudo and Miss Nanaka wish, I can announce the two of you and arrange for you to squeeze an item into the lineup. Uh, does that mean we can perform on a stage too? The two of you are great contributors to the barbank sector. There will always be a place on a stage reserved for you. Woohoo! Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up and do it already! Of course she jumps to it. I'll notify them right away. After the performance at the Crescent Theatre, you can prepare for the big rave at the Luna Piana Theatre. That will be the biggest event for this festival. Shortly after Eos notification, Nanaka and Kuro head off first to prepare for the show. Then we should go sightseeing too. Hmm? Sol suddenly looks Sol suddenly locks onto someone in the distance. What is it now, Sol? Those fox ears. Isn't that Rico? I haven't seen her in a while. She thought she was wandering around out here. We turn toward the direction where Sol is looking. Though we can't see her head, we can definitely see a pair of foxy ears poking out above the crowd. Hey! Rico! Sol shouts and the ears tremble, then they suddenly duck down and vanish out of sight. Squints. Huh? It's only been a while and she's pretending we're strangers already? Seems a little fishy to me. Prof, I'm going to catch that fox. Huh? Rico, get back here! And off she goes. This expression, I love it too. Professor, this... You should go too, Persicaria. Once you find Rico, ask her about news that will help us in working with the sector's administrator. With this sector's administrator. Got it, but what about things on your side? Don't worry, we're in the heart of the Borbank sector. I won't be in danger. Really? Alright then, I'll be leaving the professor in your care, Miss Eos. Understood, Miss Persicaria. We watch as Persicaria and Sol vanish into the distance, and then Eos suddenly smiles at me. Oh no. Professor. Did you deliberately send them off so you could be alone with me? Smile! Fuck! <laughs> don't, look, don't look at me like that. I'm weak. Now that was straight to the point. Not intending to hide it anymore? Since you can tell, there's no point in trying to cover it up. I'd also like a chance to show you my sincerity. <laughs> I'm just it's it's expression that gets me. I'm just like don't don't look at me with those eyes and that grin. Sanctifier capture when indeed.
I hope you're not up to something. I trust you, but only because you once saved us in the Pierre sector. And I do hope that we'll be able to understand each other. But that doesn't mean I'll forget all the pain and suffering the Sanctifiers have inflicted on us. I understand, which is why I hope to deepen my understanding of you. That does us both good, does it not? Perhaps. So does that mean you're officially allowing me to accompany you in the Burbank sector? Before I can reply, Eos grabs my arm with a smile on her face. I hope we'll get along then, Professor. <clears throat> um, why is the boss of my enemy flirting with me so openly? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> um, yes. They know our weak points. <laughs> I am getting serious Morido vibes. I don't know if I'm getting Morido vibes, but I'm just like, what are you planning? And why? And why do you have to turn into a hot girl for it? Enemies to lovers or something. I do I do love me some good enemies to lovers trope. I didn't recognize her. Turns out it was a stranger. Humst? A mystic crowd in the Burbank sector. As Persicaria chases after Saul. She suddenly turns back to look in the professor's direction. The professor. Although they don't seem to be in any danger, I'm suddenly feeling very uneasy. That's your wife who sends us tingling because I'm being flirted. I'm being, I'm being flirted with. Very dangerously. I see her. Persicaria, Rico's over there. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> That's not Rico. The fox ears suddenly pop out again from around a street corner. Sol immediately charges at them. You fox! Eh? I love her design though. Oh, she has two tails! Oh, she's cute! Mika, give her to me! Damn, she's cute. Haha. 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 Got you now. Honestly, we haven't seen each other in just a few days, and you pretend that you don't know me. Hmm? <clears throat> The agent's soul grab looks at her in surprise. Let me just get a screenshot of her, I really like her. Uh, where's the screenshot place? Where's the screenshot button? Video recorder, screenshot. All right. Anyone got access to reverse collapse beta? No! I'm still suffering over it. You, how did you... So, you got in the wrong person. Um, sorry, sorry. So hardly releases the other person's ears and frantically apologizes. Wow, you are grabbing her by the ears. How dare you? I thought you looked familiar and I forgot to verify your signature. Oh, wait, there she is! Of course she'd look familiar. She's a traitor like Rico, after all. <laughs> my girl, my baby. Ah, Rico, where did you come from? Oh. <laughs> 
they don't look anything alike. Yeah, I'm like, bro. Even if you saw the ear, even if you only saw the ears, they're like different colors. I thought I heard someone calling my name from a distance, so I ran over to take a look, and it turned out to be you. Oh, and what are you planning to do to my dear little understudy? Hmm. Oh, so this foxy little minx is your understudy. Sora, cr Sora scratches her head and looks at the panicked fox agent. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought you were Rico, so I just stopped and grabbed... You shouldn't be grabbing anyone, even if it's Rico. <laughs> the first fox agent gradually comes down. So my big fox racist. <laughs> Miss Rico, do you know each other? Yep, they're the exiles I keep telling you about. Allow me to introduce you. This is Ranko, an exchange trader. So they mass produce exchange traders? Of course they do. My guy is so big. How could a single Rico cover it all? But it seems we've only ever met you, Rico. <laughs> but of course, that's because Rico is the leader of the exchange traders. Business in the Oasis is so good that of course I'm going to keep it to myself. Of course. <laughs> this is Rico, that is Rico Kuruk, is Rico, we're all Rico. Come, Ranko, introduce yourself. Hey, Maple. <laughs> we are all Rico for real, for real. I see, so you're customers from the Oasis. Miss Rico talks about you all the time. My name is Ranko. I, s <laughs> I see. Who would have thought that Rico the scam artist would have such a decent and well-behaved little understudy? Don't look down on her, okay? Ranko is the understudy whom I'm most proud. Not only are her abilities beyond reproach, she values each and every member of the Trader Collective. Wait a minute! Do you just call me a scam artist? I'm glad to see you're still in good spirits, Rico. We haven't seen you in a while. I was worried something had happened to you. Rico will never abandon an easy mark like the Oasis. Do you just call us an easy mark? Work partners! Recently... It says business has been hard everywhere. Well, even so, all the problems have been taken care of, haven't they? The real reason I didn't come back to the Oasis was because I was busy with a big job over here in the Burbank sector. Rico waves her little hand as she shows them the fruit of her labors. Oh, look, there's a cat there. Cat spotted. <gasps> Another cat! Behold! These lights, these floats, these statues, and these big screen monitors. All of them are the result of tons and tons of overtime. Whoa! You did all this by yourself? Hmm, <laughs> as much as I like to take the credit. It's actually the other way around. Ranko was the one handling the festival. All I did was just allocate her some external resources. Who's overtime? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ranko. You grow so much, Ranko. Mom is so proud of you. Since when did you become a mom? Oh, she's cute. Look at that face. I'll do my best, Miss Rico. Speaking of which, I gathered all the items for the order you gave me yesterday. Where will you be free to inspect them? Hmm? Oh, I I I'll go check them out once I'm finished. So you basically just dump all your work onto your understudy. May I paint Rico number two? Yes. Did you say something? Aha, uh -huh, nothing at all. It's a bit weird to me that Koha is still as understudy. I mean, yeah, it's it's just one of those words that is just like, you know, how do you translate it? And like, I guess it, especially in English, it depends on what Koha exactly. It is, I guess. What type of kohai? In any case, I'm busy. You guys just go look around for a bit and help me say hi to the professor. No, it's... Ah. 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 
Okay, sorry about that. Ah, uh, Miss Rico, then what should I... Go take a break. I'll be fine by myself. Bless you, thank you. Looks like you accidentally stirred up her competitive spirit, Sol. Uh, alright then. Would you like me to take you on a tour of the Burbank sector? Oh, no need to trouble you. We've already got a guide. Please, don't stand the ceremony. I've always wanted to meet all of you from the Oasis. A normal agent guided tour might not be professional enough. We traders know the layout of the festival better. No, it's alright. Our guide is really good. Miss Eos gives, gives me the feeling that she's very caring and stays close to her clients. How should I describe it? Sol, look up at the big screen. Right, that's your guy there, all tied up with the prof. Wait, 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 what? Prof? Is that the prof and Miss Eos? A creepy scene appears on the big screen. As a menacing soundtrack plays, a pair of familiar figures are being carried by a bunch of others toward a blazing bonfire. She really is sticking close to her client. Now's not the time for your snark. The prof's going to be burned alive at this rate. We need to go save them. They were tied up by people in black and now they're going to be burned. How on earth did this even happen to them? <laughs> well, you see. <laughs> One hour ago. Oh, no, I know you sneeze. Sorry if I sneeze again at some point. I have a sneeze strap in my nose. It's so annoying. So does that mean you're officially allowing me to accompany you in the Burbank sector? I hope we'll get along then, I hope we'll get along then, Professor. You scratched my arm with a smile on her face. You're... Just as I'm wondering how to interpret her actions, there is a disturbance in the surrounding crowd. Couple sided! Grab them! Before I can react, a group of menacing agents wearing black rush out, surrounding Eos and myself. It's not like we're born inside a military train we've had wars. Yeah, it's true. We've come out of a life of worse situations. Shake. the end we've spotted the targets well done do it <gasps> there he is i'm breaking some uh, focus i forgot the i forgot the names also something about a split a split gate rocket punch something like that Rocket pop, yeah, that that was it. It's good, it's good. It's the first time I have it. Good, nice. With a whistle, a black clad a black platform skates over, skates over, heading right towards me. Bro, I love the art style. It's so good. Should I give her a helmeted voice? Justice is upon you, wicked cop. Huh? What? Why is the pro? How do you know me? Bam! I don't have bam sound effects at the hand. The skater can't break in time and crashes right into me. Unofficial Donna, Donna collab. Owie, owie, ouch. Professor, why is it you? Hmm? But we're in the middle of a show now. Sorry, Professor. Wait, what? Before I can finish, the scare picks me up in one swift movement. The other agents grab Eos. Me too? This is... A 
Of course, none of you lovey-dovey couples will be allowed to escape. Gentlemen, while we were hiding in the shadows and during the misery of loneliness, these normie agents were proudly enjoying the festival. Is that a good thing? Of course not, we are the dark warriors born of disaster. How can we allow them to be happy? Now I, Dark Warrior N, shall sound the horn that sign us our counter strike. May disaster engulf this festival and punish this unrighteous world. Sure. Punishment, punishment, punishment! Let this couple become the first sacrifice! Be proud, the fire that burns your body shall illuminate our tomorrows. As the camera drone swoops in to get a better view, the tension in the air gradually rises. What? <laughs> but we're not a couple. Yes, no, let's go of her! <laughs> Although Eos is very cute, I'm also a girl. <laughs> hmm. Play along. Alright. Let's play along. Sounds good. <laughs> he jumps into it, into it right away. Uh, amazing. Don't worry about me, Professor. You have to you have to live on. <laughs> Uh, it's beautiful. The black clad agents look at us in admiration upon saying how quickly we get into the spirit of things. <laughs> and so, the people in black, or rather the dark warriors, bundle us up to, to the stake to be burned. Who the heck put all this stuff into these agents' heads anyway? <laughs> That's amazing. I'm right into it. No hesitation. Stories always begin in unexpected places. I love the song. On the streets of the Borbank sector. Eos and I are tied together, and as we watch the black clad agents work to pile up the firewood and kindling around us, I am briefly at a loss for what to do next. Looks like it'll be a while before the show starts. Are you bored, Professor? <laughs> what could I feel bored when I'm with you? Sheesh! <laughs> yeah, both, op both options are kind of the same, just worthy in a different way. Hmm. I like the second one. <laughs> You're so funny, Professor. I have no idea what you mean. Still, it is a failure on our part to keep our guests waiting around during a scripted event. In compensation, why don't I tell you a story, Professor? It is an account I've heard from somewhere else. According to it, one of Magrosia's leaders once killed a human in real life. In real life? You mean there's a door who did that and their normal cloud wasn't destroyed? Moreover, she was uploaded to Magrasea too. Most of the people who heard this story reacted the same way you did. However, it's just a story, so the truth may never be known to anyone. Yo, the thinking face. I love it too. Perhaps coming from reality might be a matter of fact for you, but for the agents of Magrasea, the word reality is far away indeed. But let us return to the story. Did you know? That doll wasn't even a military doll, but an ordinary doll. 
Supposedly, she fell in love with a certain human in the real world. Perhaps they both knew that it was a love that would not be easily accepted by the world, but they continued with it regardless. The two of them believed firmly in each other and viewed their partner as their most valuable person, cherishing the happy times they spent together. But it also became a weakness for that human. After all, loving a doll was incomprehensible in the eyes of other humans. They don't know what's good. That might not necessarily be the case! <laughs> cough, cough. Oh? I see you have a story of your own, Professor. You must tell me all about it when you have the time. Second choice is the kind of choice for real, for real. In any case, that man's enemy capitalized on his weakness, and he attempted to destroy his finances and steal his position and wealth with rumors and slander. The doll noticed this state of events, and then she began to calculate. She calculated the odds of her lover being defeated by his enemy, and calculated the chances of him falling sick, getting hurt, and dying after being forced out onto the streets. In addition, she calculated the most effective way to stop all this from happening. Which was to kill him, right? Well, I did tell you that before. But to my knowledge, dolls can't hurt human beings with impunity. So she had to resort to some special methods. She made use of her position to design an immersive play. And during a performance, she arranged for that enemy to take part in and interact with it. During this interaction, she arranged for her opponent to activate an extremely dangerous mechanism with his own hands. The audience all thought it was realistic acting, right until the end of the play, when they realized that it was murder in broad daylight. What happened then? Tell me more. <laughs> Mostly, this incident made big waves in the white zone. The government announced that she would be arrested and scrapped on the spot, and the doll herself was prepared for such, an, for such an end. But for some reason, not only was she not scrapped, but her narrow cloud was extracted and uploaded to the cloud server. Oh god, these both are good questions. Who was she? The details of the matter are not something that I, as a single agent, can comprehend. What do you think, Professor? After hearing all this, what do you think of the story? Is it true? I wanna know. To my knowledge, there is only one organization which can upload a narrow cloud into Magrasea. True. The story you're talking about. True, true this. Oh yes, and there are very few agents on the cloud server which know about reality. Perhaps these two worlds should never have interacted. The door you're talking about is not you, is it? <laughs> How could that be? I'm a born and bred agent of Magrasea. I can guarantee you that much. Which means she can't guarantee anything else, then. Perhaps the truth of the story is not as romantic as it seems? And why do you say that? First of all, there is a story of love between a human and a doll. The illogical hypothesis is that the human or an intermediary gave the doll an order. Based on this hypothesis, the person who made the final decision to kill them could have been a human. A very rational analysis. That's the professor for you. But it's just a story, perhaps there was some color added to it. For instance, what if the initial command turned into true emotion? Really, no more questions? Bill, don't you think this story is a very good fit for the stage where we find ourselves now? Perhaps out of the Magrasa cloud server is nothing more than a stage that was designed by someone. What are you hinting at? As though in response to Eos' words, the black clad agents light the kindling, and Firelight suddenly lights up 
light us up from behind. No, wait, go back. <laughs> I need answers. Remember the, remember the ending scene of Divine Heresy? <laughs> stretchy stretch, okay. Classic make a storytelling, bunch of questions and no answers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, time to lay awake at night thinking about this. We're going to stand now. Darkwire Anne, who kidnapped and brought us here, walks over to us. For some reason, she seems a little nervous, and she glances at me from time to time. Is there something on my face? Uh, no, it's just... Lady Anne, your orders, please. Drops lower, refuses to elaborate, leaves. <laughs> That's Mika for you. New rows of black clad agents appear from all around with a whoosh. Take a ceremonial formation. All right. Gentlemen, it is the time to announce the end of the festival. Now follow me and begin the trial. Whoa, whoa, whoa. why do you do that? The black clad agent is slowly drawn near, trapping us on, trapping us on the small, ex small execution platform. Wow, generic designs. The bad guys in this one are really menacing. Yeah, they look really cool. Isn't Ernst Nemesis, Mysterious Warrior Omega, going to show up? Hurry and cut up end scenes. <gasps> I know that reference. The crowd slowly grows livelier as countless agents focus their attention on the stage and I subconsciously clench my fists. Are you nervous, Kuruku? Why do you call me my name sometimes? Don't do that. My heart can't take it. The silver-haired girl presses herself against my shoulder. You... You're really seeing a dull moment around you. Are you uneasy because of your current situation? Or are you simply feeling reserved because you're alone with me? She raises her eyes ever so slightly, and there is an unfathomable expression there as she meets my gaze. Regardless of which one it is, I believe my feelings are the same as yours. In the book of fate, our names are both written on the same line. Perhaps my heart simply can't help but flutter when you are by my side. Here we are, back at the start. <laughs> Come down, this is only a performance. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry, I can't act cool. I'm crumbling here. I just can't come down. <laughs> I know who she really is. I know this is just an ad, but there's just no way I can ignore what she's saying and going. <laughs> <laughs> Going doki doki. And I. And why would I be uneasy? It seems the mood in the air has infected me because I end up speaking that on Polish line without even realizing it. How could I protect you if I were uneasy and afraid at a, at a time like this? You were laughing just now, weren't you? Though she didn't manage to keep herself from laughing, she lightly takes hold of my hands. I go with the flow and gather her into my arms in a protective manner. The dark forms surrounding us seem to be startled by this and sees their threatening advance. I'm so happy to hear that. Did you know? Before I met you, I always felt that I was alone all my life. But now we'll be able to bear this together, whether or not we find the answer in the end. 
She squeezes my hands tightly, her eyes brimming with emotion. So please, take me away from here, away from this endless prison. If, in this moment, you are willing to be with me, I... Here we go. Professor? <laughs> the faint voice behind me interrupts our impre The faint voice behind me interrupts our impassioned performance. I turn and see Percy Kai standing not far away, looking right at us. Persicaria, what are you doing here? I can I can explain. <laughs> Could you please not look away, Kuruko? <laughs> What's going on, Professor? Um, uh, I. <laughs> <laughs> now is when I pretend suffering a heart attack and pass out. Yuzu still seems engrossed in the performance, but without knowing it, she's made the scene that much, that much more of a mess. <laughs> Why is there a stage now? Oh god. Where do I have a supplies? <laughs> poor, poor Persicaria. Bro, this event is this 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 event is doing things to my heart. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I believe you broke her heart. <laughs> no, I can't explain <laughs> on board. <laughs> no. Of your own volition. No, <laughs> deliberately. No, stop. <laughs> It's a misunderstanding. It's all a mistake. The reckless son stumbles onto the stage, running to her faded shadow. <laughs> uh, I love this. Why is it just the one fight? Oh, hey! Hey there, Nasira. What do you do? I mean, Dark Warrior N. Oh, Warrior of Darkness, born of disaster. Met out your punishment upon those who live in ignorant bliss. Yo, are you back sleeping there while I'm reading? How dare you? Alright. Oh, it's me! Wow, this is. Poetic, the thoughts of loved ones can motivate you to push forward, but they also keep you from ever turning back. Anyway, let's go. What's going on, Professor? No, don't cancel me. Uh, I... Hey, 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 hey! You! That average citizen over there! Aren't you taking us Dark Warriors too lightly? If you want to take me on, you're nowhere near qualified. Hurry and back up. Dark Warrior? Ah, could it be that... Persecutor seems to get Dark Warrior's ears hint and decides to quietly back off. However... Found you at last! How dare you kidnap the prof! Now take this, you lot! Of course. <laughs> Go on. You're pretty good at running away. Hurry and let the prop go, or else... Who are you? You're not allowed to be here. Taste my blade! Ah, soul. Never change, yeah. Oh, is, is she for real? <laughs> Look at her running in place. <laughs> You can kidnap the prof, but you can't take a hit. 
Come at me all at once. Faced with Sol's menacing presence, the black clad agents begin backing up with frightened looks on their faces, and the crowd watching them begins whispering to each other too. Who's that blonde over there? A new character? She doesn't look very professional to me. Sol, wait, this is... Don't worry about me, Persicaria. There's no need to fear enemies of this caliber. That's not what I meant. This is... This is bad. Enough! Hmm? <laughs> I see... That you're the understudy of Mysterious War Omega then. Who would have thought you'd be such a brainless brute even going so far as to run in without your armor to throw your life away before me? Come then, I'll send you on your way. Wow, she's good at improvising. So she's still understudy to Mysterious War Omega? Is there such a thing? Now that you mention it, I think it was mentioned about a dozen episodes ago. The foreshadowing must be paying off. Although I don't really understand what you're trying to say, getting your trashing should do the trick, right? Come then, I'll defeat you and then save my friends. So the stupidity making new lore. <laughs> ah! Quick, get the camera in closer. Shoom, shoom. I need to make sure I don't hurt her. God, you're so annoying. Don't you here and there. Are you looking down on me? Mika's writing process in action. The ring lion slash. Uh -huh. Soul moves swiftly to block off Dark Warrior's end path and clashes her swords together to light to ignite them. One swings right at her face. The blow shatters Dark Warrior Seven's mask. Upon seeing her face, Soul's eyes go wide. You're... Good one, Soul. You broke her helmet. Now probably... Now I would probably have to pay for it. Oh no, we're getting to the end of what I have unlocked. How long is it? Okay, it's not too bad. Was it 19? Yeah, okay. Eye catch. No, you want them one bajillion monies. Cut for a level 23 and look all the story. Sheesh! Is it at 19 though? Stage. Let's see. Yeah, it's 19. Oh yeah, 22, 23, I see. 22. I was looking at these numbers, not uh, not at the ones below. I see, I see. How far does it go? Sheesh, 70. Is this like the, the badge of this event? Oh no, there's another one here. What are these for? The soul costume looks really good. Oh yeah, I've seen it. Should I get this? Oh. All right. 
That's a recent inventory. Ah. I see. Let's keep going then. People are always drawn to the light, and so we call it destiny. Oh, it's gonna give me a stool. Let's go. Stool moves swiftly to block up Dark Warrior's Earth's path and clashes her swords together to ignite them. Where swings right at her face. Crack. Hmm. Yo, that's some. This is some nice fucking art. Holy shit. I love her design so much. The blow shatters Dark Warrior's Earth's mask. Upon seeing her face, Soul's eyes go wide. Your... Hmm, you got some skills, Mysterious Warrior Omega's understudy. But don't think this is over just yet. This is it! A pillar of light suddenly crashes down between the battling duo like a meteor, scattering the pyre. There he is! With the guitar then. As the light fades, a man in a white battlesuit slowly shreds the traitors up. Let me... I'm gonna mute myself for a moment. I'm gonna try to look for a good uh, helmet and voice to use for him. Enjoy the music. All right, sorry about that, I was looking. I found one. Just need to find it here. There it is. All right, perfect. <laughs> Let's go. Let me get my drink back here. No, no, I muted myself to look for a voice. Because I don't have like good helmeted voices. Come on, Sapphire. <laughs> Dark Warrior N, I shall end your fate. It's Mysterious Warrior Omega! The main character makes his appearance at last! 
This name and armor. I think I remember them now. Now your brain is working, so. As the audience cheers, the armor agent walks over to our dark warrior end. W wait, were they filming an episode of Mysterious Warrior? Yes, yeah, Soul. <laughs> After a brief battle, Mysterious Warrior Omega and Soul defeat Dark Warrior N. Justice is invincible. You win this round, but don't re don't rejoice too soon. Dark Warrior Ant wipes away a drop of blood from the corner of her mouth before backing up forcefully. I'll be back! Darkness will return! Whoosh! Why did they, why did they scream whoosh? <laughs> a cloud of smoke builds up. Dark Warrior Ant and her followers grab Eos and I... Grab Eos and I and we vanish offstage. Oh, that was awesome. Um, I. Shh. Thanks for your hard work, Miss Soul. Please come back with me to the crew area after the show. Um. Okay. And I see us once. Crap. Did I hit her too hard? No, this is so awkward! In the crew rest area. So, you were forced to play her lover, Professor. It's true, I have no choice! <laughs> oh, or maybe the last one. Oh, I like this one. Is it me or do you seem angry? <laughs> <laughs> Forced, yes, yes, I was held at gunpoint against my will. <laughs> I choose to have my shame. Angry? Of course I'd be angry if you had to take part in such a dangerous event. Still, the professor seemed to be enjoying it, especially the spontaneous performance part. Perhaps it's because the mood was different from usual? Do things feel fresh and new? Arr. <laughs> My common writer, dude. Thank you for waiting, ladies and gentlemen. I brought me so long too. I'm saved! Prof! Sorry, I didn't know it was a performance. You don't have to apologize to me. You should apologize to her instead, Oshiangi. Are you Miss Nasira from Project Mirror Cloud? <laughs> So funny. Are you Miss Nasira from Hit Got the Game Project Narrow Cloud? She said the thing. Yeah, long time no see, Sol. And of course, Professor and Persicaria. I didn't think you would be one of the lucky audience members we captured. I sh it sure frightened me. I'm sorry for using too much force. I thought... Oh, I'm fine. I'm a professional actress and I'm used to fight scenes. That didn't hurt at all. But I ruined your performance, didn't I? Not at all. When you came on stage, I sent word to Mysterious Warrior Omega and he helped save the show. Plus, the audience reacted pretty well to it. So there's no need to apologize to me. Um, but... I must have embarrassed myself in front of all my grasea. I should just cover up my face from now on. But how? Everyone remembers you as a hero who fought off Dark Warrior N. 
That was all thanks to your quick improvisation. Otherwise, apologizing a hundred times wouldn't be enough. Well, the important thing is the dramatic effect it had. Still, doing that was pretty much rewriting the script on my own initiative. I wonder what the director will have to say about that. I wish Sol wasn't so bad, her skin from this event is so cool. Yeah, same. I really like her overall design too. She's super strict, and I don't th think anyone in the sector can get one over her. Now that you mention it, where are you in the Burbank sector, Miss Nasira? I drifted here some time after Nanaka and Kuro left. As it happened, there were auditions for a show going on, and then my sister was waiting to shelter me. Although I didn't manage to get a hero role because I showed up late. Oh, baby. So, are you planning to return to the Oasis with us? Yeah, yeah! Kuro and the others are in the Oasis too. And we have great script writers like Nora on board. Lies, we don't have her yet. With a great actress like you joining us, we could make a movie of our own. Despite Sol's eager invitation, Nasira still seems a little hesitant. Um, I may need to consider that. Huh? Why? At least until this show is over. Do you never take out your take off your helmet? Wait. Nasira, the director called. Was she mad? I couldn't tell. In any case, she wanted us she wanted us all to go over. Winky face. Ah, Missal, she wants you there too. Me? Oh god, I'm prepared to commit seppuku for atonement. Don't worry, Miss Sol. The director is very nice. Where do you come from? Oh, Ranko? Where did you pop up from? That's what I said. Branko's tail waxed nonstop. Which one? There's two of them. I was watching you and Miss Nasira performance all this time. It was super exciting. Really. I'm sure the director won't have anything to complain about after seeing such a great show. I don't know about that. Besides, since you've already shown your face on stage, the director will need your cooperation in order to allow the plot to fully develop. In other words, this is a great opportunity for everyone from the Oasis to take part in the Burbank Sector Festival performance. I need to see Rango Tail wagging through. Same. Wow, you are a completely different person when the topic of tokusatsu shows comes up. I can't believe they used straight up said tokusatsu shows. Let's go! You're so lively all of a sudden. We should watch Kamen Rider, guys. <laughs> Everybody will want to see it, which means we'll make a killing at the box office. By everyone, you actually mean yourself, right? What should we do, Professor? Should we let Sol go with the Should we let Sol go with them? We still haven't contacted Sector Sector Administrator yet, and if we let Sol go now. Oh, it's no biggie, it's fine. Also, if I'm not wrong. We'll be meeting the sector administrator soon enough. At the Burbank sector, backstage of the Crescent Theater. The director can usually be found up ahead. You sure know your stuff. Well, I've been allocating supplies recently, after all. Ah, and speaking of supplies, I haven't checked on the state of the show props yet. Excuse me, ladies and gents. I need to take a look at the props. See you later. All right, bye. Why does she always appear and disappear all of a sudden? Do all exchange traders act this way? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, when did you come back? Do you not make a noise when you're walking? Uh, a lack of presence is also one of my virtues. KTV Agent 1, could you come with me? I need to check your costume too. Sure, but where will Nasira? Don't worry so much about me. I'll be fine by myself. Let's go. We'll go find the director together. I hope she's in a good mood. Let's go, KDB Agent 1. Uh -oh. 
All right. Oh yeah. Make sure you just call me as soon as we are Omega while I'm in costume. Oh yes, I'm sorry. KDV Agent One is your usual identity, right? It just slipped out. He's <laughs> just a normie. Oh, it's fine. It's partly because of you that I became the lead, Ranko. <laughs> Meow? Who's meowing? Meow! It's an actual cut! A colorful ball of four suddenly jumps up and into Ranko's arms before hardly running off. Eee! Was that a, a cut? That's strange. Did the festival budget cover such a flashy cat? We're here. Hello, Miss Mariel. There she is. I'm here. Whoa, she's so close. Stairs. Are you the alien who burst into our first show and wrecked Dark Warrior's Earth's faceplate? Yes, it was me. I'm sorry for not only damaging your props, but nearly ruining your show too. Oh yes, this is the first time I've seen someone break such a sturdy mask in one blow. I spent a lot of money to custom make it, you know? It was my fault for being too rash. I'll do anything I can to make up for it from manual labor to fixing props. And while I'm not too good at fixing stuff, I'll do my best. Yeah, the G doesn't really G. It's not the same. The prop is one thing, but you haven't heard Dark Warrior end. You're just an ordinary person with no armor, but you managed to give the villain a bloody note with sheer strength. Such unbalanced fighting power is just... I'm really sorry. Director, it's also partially your fault for not properly controlling the venue, so please don't be too... It's just amazing. Say what? How did I never think of this before? In the past, the audience always said Mysterious Warrior was a boring series where you could guess who will die after one glance at the cast list. But that's because we lack certain treasures like this. We never went outside the box, and we didn't have any fantastic elements, isn't that right? Very good, very good. You really are amazing. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Meryl, the administrator of the Burbank sector, and I am the director of the Mysterious Warrior series. What about you? All points went into strength. Yeah, that's, that's Sol for you. Uh, I'm Sol. What do you do for a living? Are you an action film star? A common structure? From your skills, you can't possibly be an ordinary person, right? Uh, I used to be a guide for science expeditions. An amateur then. Yet you could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nasira. Remarkable. Truly remarkable. To think an amateur will make... will take me to school. Director... Nasira, I have to praise you too. You help bring in an extraordinary newcomer. I'm sure she'll be able to add a splash of new color to her festival. Soul, is it? From now on, you'll be the second lead for Mysterious Warrior. <laughs> you will be! Eh? Uh -huh. the, the makeup room next door is yours. You'll have the same coordinator and makeup artist as Omega. Yeah, I should let them know. Wait a minute, wait a minute! You want me to act? Nobody told me about this. Oh? Didn't you say you will do anything? But I've never learned to act before. How many stars out there right now have actually had formal instruction in performing? Besides, all you need to do is be yourself on stage. With Nasira guiding you, you'll be up, you'll be in top form soon enough. Or do you doubt my directorial skills? Are you questioning or cruise competence? No, but I'm not mentally prepared for this yet. Oh, really now? In that case, well, there, I just I just noticed the ships in the TV in the background. <laughs> In that case, when do you think about the financial losses incurred by, run by ruining a debut performance? All in the run and cost needed to change a script mid-production. The repair bill for Dark Warrior's Ends Mask. Which of these are you mentally prepared for? We can start with that. I'll do it! I want to act! <laughs> That's more like it. Let's look at the upcoming arrangements. 
But, Director, an ordinary person becoming a mysterious warrior. We can base it off that, adjusting the plot accordingly. Nasira, you should prepare your best rival game. Director? Hmm? Is it alright to change the script so casually? What? Do you have a problem with it? The other actors, the scriptwriters, the prop technicians, the makeup artists, everyone is going to be affected by it. Change is always accompanied by a certain degree of risk. Compared to these small difficulties, the surprise Miss Soul here will bring to the table is much worthier of anticipation. You... you're just being irresponsible. Wow! In the past, when KV Agent 1 was chosen for Mysterious Wearer Omega, I managed to talk myself down by saying he had acting experience. But now you're picking an inexperienced newcomer for an important role. How can you guarantee the quality of the production after this? Whoa, Shiangi. If she messes it up, how will anyone ever trust a mysterious warrior of justice again? Are you done, Nasira? I... Nasira looks around and realizes that everyone is looking at her. She takes a deep breath. I'm sorry, everyone. I lost my composure. Maybe you need to get some treatment for that injury you took during the fight just now. I'll let you handle Sol afterwards. Yes. After saying that, Nasira nods to us and leaves. Nasira, it's all my fault. You don't need to worry about it. That's just how she is. It's because she's a responsible actress that I can be assured of the quality of the show. But I think Nasira is right to be worried. She really got shafted and was forced to be able to yep. Mm -hmm. She's a professional actress, and if she thinks that I can't handle the role, then I can't irresponsibly take on the task of playing the part. If that's really the case, then I'll try to think of a way to make it up to the crew. I'm sorry, Professor, but can I go after Nasira? Go on. Yep. Honestly. You're not going to stop, Sol? Ryder, what she, what she did just now proved more than ever that she can play the part well. If I'm prepared to make her Nasira's pupil, then making sure the two of them have a good relationship isn't a bad thing. After all, their personalities are similar. They're earnest, responsible, and simple-minded blockheads. <laughs> About Nasira. The cast election for Mysterious Warrior Omega was wrapping up by the time she came to the Barbank sector. So, as much as she wanted to portray a hero character, all we could do was let her play a villain. Even so, she continued mentoring Mysterious Warrior Omega, in other words, KDB Agent 1, every day and honed his acting skills. Not even five minutes after meeting Soul, she too knew. <laughs> Mysterious Warrior Omega is as popular as he is today because of her hard work behind the scenes. Oh, I forgot, I forgot you were here. Dork to door communication. <laughs> With only one pencil each, they'll be forced to be on the same wavelength. Bonding. <laughs> what a surprise. Should I say she's upset with being a hero character, or is she just too into her role? I don't think it's bad for an actor to invest themselves too deeply into their part. But if they're, if they're not an actor, then they'll have to be careful. Well, you're pretty concerned about Nasir and the others. That's why you know their personality and habits so well. Even if I weren't their director, it will be my responsibility as sector administrator. Yeah, and I believe you're a sector administrator who's worthy of her position. So, are you going to work with the Oasis for the sake of the continued development of the Borbank sector? <laughs> Sliding in the negotiations. The Oasis? I've heard of you before. Still, don't you think talking about this during a festival kind of spoils the mood? 
At the very least, you should wait until you prove that you're an interesting person during this festival, like Sol. So you want us to take part in the production as well? You can interpret that any way you want. Chances have to be worn through performance, after all. Alright then. After saying that, Mary self absorbedly vanishes back into the darkness. Why? Why did she vanish into the darkness? Round swivel stool. Yeah, stool! Okay, I only have admiration and stage 2. Hopefully, we can unlock obsession. For dramatic effect. I mean, fair. That's what management does, you should ask why the professor doesn't do that. Really? I uh, have to pay more closer attention to my managers now. Save one person's life to spark a light in another's eyes. So I have a... Um, the programmer person at our workplace. Uh, <laughs> one of the warehouse girls one was joking with me about how she was convinced that he was a vampire because she never saw him step out into the sun and never saw him eat anything just drink monster energy drinks and nothing else and I was like you know what you're kind of right <laughs> because it's true I mean I've seen him walk out but even then it's just like he just kind of sits there and drinks Monster Energy drink, and then he leaves. <laughs> Sounds like a programmer, right? <laughs> oh, he had like six screens, and I'm like, holy shit. Modern than vampires. I can't believe modern than vampires are programmers. He's right on the fact that I, I barely see him eat. Like, I see him drink his monster energy drinks that he keeps in the uh, the kitchen fridge and I've seen him walk out to Tim Hortons he walks out to Tim Hortons even when it's cold as fuck he just kind of walks out with a jacket you know and like no gloves no hat he just walks out like that walks to Timmy's and I see him come back with like coffee or sometimes I think like a donut but I don't, I never see him like, you know, like sit down and eat lunch all day, you know, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I'm just like, how is, how, what? <laughs> <laughs> Programmers and engineers are built different. <laughs> I'll believe you, Dad. I just want to engineer, yes? Oh, I understand now. I understand why you're so powerful. Wait, that I think he meant to die by a heart attack at 50. I mean, he's close then. I don't know how old he is either, because I mean, he's clearly older than me. But he looks younger than... You know, like like the older person at, at work so i'm just like how old is he 40 50 he must be like 30 between 30 and 40 i guess i guess i'm very bad at guessing ages too but you know like he looks young he he and i'm just like what it's pine and energy drinks keep a motherfucker alive <laughs> sometimes i see him sitting on the computer you know with his six monitors and he has like I've seen him watching like chess tournaments <laughs> and like have a, a, another screen with a shit ton of code <laughs> and I feel like I see. <laughs> I see. Backstage at the Crescent Theater. Nasira walks through the dark night hallway by herself. Mysterious warrior. Blue light keeps you awake and alive. 
The mysterious warrior is so cool. That last battle was way too badass. I've never met a real life anime character like that, for real, for real. And I see him watching like... I mean, I see him, I've seen him watching like other stuff. I don't know why I remember the chess tournament so vividly though, it just came... It was so out of nowhere, like, you know, because I... The printer is right behind his desk. So when I go pick up like labels or like stuff that I print for, for the shit I have to do. Uh, when I turn around to work back at my desk, I see him, I see him like, I see all his screens. I remember I saw him with the chess tournament. I mean, I guess it was a chess tournament because it was like, it was people playing chess, you know, with like the timer and it was like a live stream. And I, and I was just like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to be a hero like that. Why? It's a buddy! Hmm? Is that a kid's voice? Is this a Dark Warrior's base? Uh, hey! Don't wander backstage! Eee! This is... The little agent who straight backstage has a mysterious wearer Omega mega poster in hand and a marker pen that she was going to use to get his signature with. Um, are you looking for mysterious wearer Omega? He's not here. If you want to find him... Stay... Stay away from me! You're dead where you're in! This really is the bad guy's hideout! Oh, little kids. The little agent backs away in fear and accidentally bumps into a statue in sleep mode. Huh? The bad guy summoned a monster! Don't be scared, the mysterious glory of justice is here. So? Those monsters can't hurt us. Come over to me. It's the big sis that Mysterious Warrior Omega's successor! So makes the trademark pose of the Mysterious Warrior series and quells the little agent's panic. The hot pose. Big sis, did you come to track down the bad guy's base too? Yep, but it's okay now. All these statues are under control, so you don't have to be scared of them. Plus, with me around, there's no way they can hurt you. So you need to behave, okay? Be good and hold my hand. Oh, okay. Crackle. So, that's how you hand using women according to its card settings. Get away from there! Come, quick! Huh? So it's briefly at a loss for what to do, but the little agent is startled by Nasira's shout. Wire and it's going to make her move. Quick, defeat her, big sis. She cowers behind Sol's body, which instead exposes herself to the statue. Oh no. Why are they holding dead birds? I still don't get it. Not good. With no time to think, Nasira skates forward and rams into the statue. Crash. What? The statue kills over, and a cut appears on Nasira's forehead. Nasira! Sol reacts swiftly and brings her sword down on the statue. Take this! <laughs> Dying noises. Phew, I took it down. Nasira, are you alright? I'm fine. How's the little agent? She's okay, thanks to you, but... <laughs> Why? Why did Dark Warrior N attack your own minion? And Pixis isn't attacking Dark Warrior N. Why is that? You'll see. Let me introduce you. Let me introduce you to the world of acting. A cognitive crisis. Oh no, she's having a cognitive crisis. It must be because she thinks I'm a villain. 
smaller agents have less computational capacity assigned to them, and they can't handle developments like this. Hey kid, listen to me! The truth is, that we are Annie's a spy of ours that's working in the evil organization. She's been working hard and fighting alone by herself in the darkness for the sake of the world's peace. <laughs> Instantly fixed. So stop adding shit to the plot. Is that true, Big Sis? Sure is. I'm the mysterious warrior of justice. How could I lie? But you gotta keep it secret, okay? This is important. It concerns the safety of the entire world. Now that you know this secret, you're a friend of ours too. So keep this secret with us, for the sake of justice. <laughs> so this mega team writer for real, for real. <laughs> Got it! I'll complete my mission for sure! You need to do your best too, Pixie Spy! Uh, uh, yeah. That's cute though. <laughs> Ooh, glad that's over. How are things on your end? I've already reported this to Meryl. She said she'll send someone to check the study program edit logs. And how are your wounds? They've been taken care of. Thanks. You seem to be good at comforting kids. Maybe it's just something left over from when I used to be an expedition guide. <laughs> People on their streets can be as mentally fragile as kids. At times like those, you need to use the simplest truths to soothe them, like love or hope. You know, the sort of thing Mysterious Warrior talks about. I... but I've always been playing the villain. Hmm? What's wrong? <laughs> it's nothing. I'm sorry, Sol. I said too much just now, but it wasn't aimed at you. I valued the show too much. Don't worry, I get it. The truth is, I've watched Mysterious Warrior before, but it was a long time ago. I cleared my memory logs several times and even the term Mysterious Warrior ended up being removed from my basic vocabulary banks. But you sure helped me remember the scenes from back then. Nika sure know their love and hope, for real, for real. So... Nasira remembers the classic pose Sol was making when she had been talking to the little agent. I'd only just been awakened back then and the only things I took on were basic missions. I didn't know exactly what kind of person I ought to have as my goal, but... Your performance gave me the strength to seek justice, so I truly am very grateful to you guys. Oh, it's this dude again. <laughs> Thank you for guiding me, Miss Nasira. I'll make sure I don't disappoint you. I shall bring love and justice to everyone in the name of Mysterious Wear Omega and protect everyone's dreams. Oh. Perhaps you might really be able to become a Mysterious Warrior. Why do you mutter so much, Nasira? Did you say something, Nasira? No, it's nothing. I've decided. So, I'll teach you to act. Before the performance officially begins, I will train you up into a worthy mysterious warrior. Let's go! Backstage on the other side of the Crescent Theater. Professor, what are you thinking about? Are you still feeling down over Miss Meryl's rejection? Or are you thinking about other things? I'm thinking about Meryl, it's about Soul, I just got the feeling of a visit to Bormang this time, so I'm going to have a peaceful ending, it's nothing. I have a bad feeling about everything all the time, always. If anything unexpected happens, I prepare methods to request emergency assistance. Of course, I hope that everyone can enjoy the, fest the festival as much as possible. It sounds like the two of you have been through some fairly rough times. Yeah, I wonder why, I wonder whose fault is that? We've had our ups and downs, yes, but... Our situation is much more stable now compared to some of our fellows who are still adrift outside. I hear irregular agents who are stranded outside their sectors are pursued by the sanctifiers. Yes. Yes, they are. Anything you have to say about that? Aren't you stating the obvious? Although you don't play it, I believe you must have had a hard time coming this far, this far Miss Persicaria. It's not as bad as you make it out to be. 
After all, the professor took on the responsibility of gathering us. The professor is the backbone of the oasis. <laughs> then I need to pair myself up to keep the professor and everyone else company. I will do my best to help everyone enjoy their time in Borbank sector. Uh, talking about Meryl? <laughs> it can be helped, I guess. I've pretty much never spoken to artistic type dolls before going to the Neural Cloud sector. These dolls who pursue art tend to think in very different ways from other people. Oh yes, you don't know. Already she knows far too well. Yep. Miss Persicaria, do you think Meryl was rejecting us? Mm hmm? I guess she was going to, to test us on whether or not we were suitable to work together with her. What do you think, Professor? It's perfectly understandable that she wouldn't trust us. Like she said before, let's prove ourselves to her. Uh, what about Sol? Yeah, Sol does seem pretty reckless at times. But that she certainly wants to act, I can't help but be a little worried for her. Given the present situation, however, it seems you're the one who has a talent for acting, Miss Persicaria. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? Me? You're the first one to say that. <laughs> People with sincere feelings can move others easily. It's the same way on the stage. The professor was clearly shaken when they saw you, for instance. You're not talking about proper acting now, are you? As we make idle conversation, Merit pushes the door open and enters. Dear guest, did I expect to meet you again so soon? Tonight is a night of choice. I have good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? The bad news. The statues for the stage show are acting abnormally. Now the good news. Nasira has agreed to let Sol take the supporting lead role, and she will personally teach Sol about how to properly play her part. Joy and sorrow go hand in hand, it seems. Don't we know? Don't we know that all too well? The statues were not something I expected. It seems the maker of the statues is quite an outstanding artist, though I didn't arrange for a surprise like this from her. An artist? An artist? That means going by their unique design style. Yep, all of them were designed by Puzzle, the sculptor. I set up an exclusive studio for her in the barbank sector. Puzzle? Wait, do you mean that... What? Is there a second puzzle in Magracea? Everyone in the White Zone should have heard of Puzzle. She's the most famous doll sculptor ever. It seems you know a little something about Puzzle. Um, I don't just know her. I'm completely unable to handle her. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> she racked up quite a list of offenses when we were working in the same sector. Such as seizing control of central health buildings without permission, scaring other dolls with sculptures, and so on. If it's for the sake of art, then I can understand it to some extent. However, wrecking the stage is another matter entirely. Since you worked together before, can I let you handle this? I'd like to check on puzzle myself, Professor. Sure, let's go. Uh, I was planning to go on my own. Do you, do you, I mean, if you want to leave me with Eos alone, again. <laughs> you saw what happened last time. Not like I could actually let you go by yourself. But... Miss Puzzle's workshop has unique design and is on one of Burbank's most sea locations. If both you and Miss Persicaria wish to head there, then I'll simply move up that part of the tour plan. Well, you heard her. Even Eos is saying so. Honestly... I love when she does that. I, <laughs> I wanna, I wanna poke her ears. Persicar looks a little resigned to the circumstances, but it is soon wiped away by a bright smile. I'll let you guys handle the puzzle then. I wonder if this assignment will let us show our sincerity in building ties with Borbank. Notch, notch. Overly pushy agents are rarely welcome. However, you are doing us a big favor. I've already contacted our provider about the stage issue. You can dump the study inflection stuff on her. That's part of her after after sales service. By provider, are you talking about Miss Franco and the traders? Indeed, you seem pretty familiar with them. That makes things easier. 
I'll have them meet up with you once they finish investigating. I hope everything will be taken care of by the time you return. Hopefully all will go well. Hopefully. Mary waves to us and leaves. She blows hot and cold all of a sudden. I just can't figure out Miss Meryl out. Miss Meryl does have a strong personality. I apologize on her behalf if she has offended you. Uh, it's fine. Rather, she counts as pretty normal, all things considered. True. I would love to hear your stories one day if the chance arises. However, I must now carry out my duties as a guide and show you the way. Yeah, let's go, Professor. Puzzle isn't exactly a logical doll, so please be careful. It's fine. What? Oh, okay. What's that? What's he supposed to be? Why is there just a regular cat back here? <laughs> What's with the creepy music? We followed them up to Poster's workshop. I see. So Burbank's two largest theaters are Crescent and Luna Piana. Actually, this should be Cres Crescente, I guess. It's located where the moon rises, and Luna Piana is where it falls. And in between these two... Why they're red? How should I? Between those two, under that defect-ridden and utterly unesthetic half moon, is my theater, Puzzle's workshop. A figure comes into view amidst the shadows. Brother. Um, I don't know if anyone in chat can help you. I'm not a, I'm not a good player. <laughs> oh, you're right. Very important question is if you have had to cheer it. I don't think you can make start building the wire team without her. And if you got, if you want to build the gar the warrior team, you would need to pull for Nasira, as far as I know. What was the warrior team again? It was Hatsu... Um, I forgot. And I, I don't mean like general just warrior team. There, there is like a warrior team. There is a ah, wire team. It was Hatsu, Nasira, I believe. Oh. Nor? Ma oh, yeah, yeah. Na Hatsu, Nasira, Mag. Mag. Uh, Mag. 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 I don't know how to say her name. Magilda. Alex and Nora. That is the wire team, TM. So you want to start building that water team, you do need to pull for Nasira. But, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I've seen videos Juancho has been doing a uh, water team a lot for this event, so sounds good. Oh, wow, I have the echo all this time. <laughs> a figure comes into view amidst the shadows. Cthulhu? <laughs> Welcome, uninvited guests. How might I serve you? Did you just end there? You know, the thing is, as Urban Strike is saying, the list, 
Nasira is part of like the the warrior team. Yeah, there is a when people speak of the warrior of a warrior team, you can they can just speak of like a general warrior team, you know, it's just like a team comprised of warriors. But there is like the warrior team, and Nasira is essential for that. But you play, you like sniper more. I mean, rather safe for. I can't remember which other snipers are coming aside from uh, 416. Oh, suck. Suck is coming. And uh, well, if you have Kudo, you know. Uh, there's Kuro Suck 416. Which other sniper is like crazy good? 416 is all you need always. Chan Chanshi also? Hmm. The triple snipers. Oh, I didn't know I didn't know that. I should race her then. Have pity ready for Koki then extra pulls. <laughs> I gamble. 416 is solo DPS. <laughs> He's just that strong. How I unlock something else? A printer table? Let's fucking go. <laughs> Lamp corner. How old do you have Diane? Because Diane can uh, buff Kuro. But I mean, if, you're, if you have multiple snipers, it's not really necessary. I know Lamp is good also. Especially since like, she's like the lowest star, she's so easy to race. Lamb is MVP in the event. I am slowly trying to raise my lamb, but I haven't gotten very far. Where's she at? I didn't even level up her skills, probably should. But I love her. I love her. Uh, the, the white day skin that she's getting now in Girls Frontline. I saw it and I was like, sheesh, man. Ooh. Touch his fingers together. Ooh. Lamb had to crack for all 10 stages of the main event. Oh. I've been doing for the farming. I've been trying Croc, Nanaka, and Kudo, but uh, it's kind of failing me now. So I'll have to test more things. I did what to say and Mars flex on each other with lamp all damage numbers. <laughs> uh, of course it would. But yeah, this stage I'm trying to do. Anyway, I have a stage now. And then I don't have any more. So maybe we can try one event, see if I can unlock one more story at least. But now, stage. Those who tread forward in the mist shall undergo tribulation. Is that Nanaka stress? That is Nanaka stress. Whoa! First Ikaria solo? A statue worth an owl. How is that an owl? Cannot be destroyed. The statue awakens when a unit occupies the power source tile. Silencing and damaging all enemies in a one tile radius. When the power source tiles are empty, the statues sleep and surrounding units are charged, increasing the speed at which their auto skill bar fills up. And what? And this is. Is this the power source? Well, when I occupy the tile, the statue warden all can be awakened. 
Okay, of course, it is on the tile. Looks oldly to me. Maybe you need better eyes. Welcome, everybody, guest. How may I serve you? Huh? Oh, I've seen my fair share of shocked faces, enough to get a little tired of them. Are you... puzzled? Of course! Who else would possess the same extraordinary artistic style as myself? Rather than talk to a statue, we would rather speak with you in person. On what basis? This is one of my finely crafted works. What exactly about it displeases you? But talking like this is inconvenient. Inconvenient for talking, perhaps, but very handy for other things. Such as getting rid of dumb bosses who drew into forbidden grounds. Excuse you? Puzzle? What are you doing? The stages made me hate Raven. Yeah, broken is kind of. I mean, Raven is kind of broken. Do you? Oh yeah, I was. I, you can you tornado her skill? Like I tried, but I failed. So I, I just assume it wasn't possible. I guess I just get bad timing. We mean no harm. We just wanted to ask you. Are to fail with sincerity? This workshop is not open to the public. If you want to see me, it will depend on your abilities. You're <laughs> fucking rip. Kersikaya just bitch slapped that statue. You can time a tornado on her target, but it's weird. It doesn't always work, you have to time it on the... 1 second to 0 0.3 seconds before she does her charge. Holy shit. <laughs> tornado? Yeah, you can, you, can, you can do a little tornado with the professor skills. And if her target has super armor, then you don't goofed. What's what super armor does? Oh hey, it's it's the puzzle herself, the one and only. Can tornado super armor doll? Oh, all right. Look like you have some skill. At last, you show yourself, puzzle. Look at this brat. Fair is fair. On account of the fact that we once worked together, I'll listen to your reasons for coming here. What is that you have? Is that like a spear gun brush thing? It looks kind of cool. Oh, and by the way, orders will have to wait until the festival ends because my schedule is fully booked until September next year. And the power of money will do you no good. We just need to check the statues that are still in storage. Spirit with a scope makes sense. I mean, in Gerstrandland, there's a there's a gun in Gerstrandland that has a an axe with a scope. So, there's lap scopes and things. It looks cool. Oh, this little scalp on statues. Ah, oh, I see. Oh? Why is that? Aren't my statues so cool that they've traumatized some poor unfortunate soul? It seems they've gone berserk. They attack an innocent agent. Hmm? Hmm. Which is why we need to check the other statues. We need your help, puzzle. I refuse! That's a cute face. Er, uh, is there any reason why? Do I need one? This is my warehouse, and every statue here is one of my works. The culmination of my efforts and skills. Do you expect me to just throw the doors open and give you whatever you want based entirely on your say-so? You have proof of them going berserk. Hmm, alright then. What proof do you have that shows it was my fault? We just need to check them. If the results are fine, then I will also prove your innocence. Please, puzzle. This concerns the safety of many of the agents in the Borbank sector. What if they go out of control again? 
then then you can go talk to the agent who shipped them, the agent who stole them, the agent who inspected them. In short, anyone but me. Now you're just being unreasonable. There's no end to this. What a drag. I'll just take care of all of you here now. Watchers of tragedy, arise! Sheesh! Those were just now. Were they a command to activate the statues? Don't blame me for this. You forced my hand. <laughs> you actually... Ambush me! It was legit. It was legitimate self-defense. I have no idea what happened. So don't, what happened? Suddenly, all the statues just died. For Sicaria, knock her out and take her away. Huh? Yes. <laughs> knock her out. <laughs> Go, Persicaria attack. <laughs> that was something. Oh, I do have part 7. Nice. Until what do I have as... Oh, there we go. Oh, I just unlocked part 7. Bam, 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 bam. Something fun about those holes. One of the buffs in the main event is that if you are affected by their silence, you immediately get plus 200 attack speed, which is funny on warriors. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Attacking a poor innocent artist. She's not innocent. Obsession. When well, your goal is so dazzling that you forget why you were even pursuing it in the first place. What? Oh, what's that? A profile background? Oh, I want it. Oh, it's the chibi one. Okay, I love that one. I want it. I need it in my life. Backstage at the Crescent Crescent Theater. 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 Can we put a can we put her here for now, Professor? Yeah. Anything to say? Are you alright, Eos? Ah. <laughs> I'm fine. I simply didn't expect you to do this, Professor. Professor, do you usually treat agents like this? Times like this, the big picture has to take precedence. Please don't misunderstand me. Under normal circumstances, I am the picture of politeness. Big picture. I am prepared to sacrifice some things for greater efficiency if it means preventing damage and misfortune from spreading further. That sounds just like how a sanctifier would think. Now then, what should we do? Professor, look out! Movement over there! Oh, I was with the echo, sorry. Persicara raises her hand, preparing to attack. Did another statue go berserk? Should we just deactivate them all by force? Oh, hey, it's them, my girls! Wait, 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 Persicaria, don't shoot, I'm friendly! Are you? Kuro? And Nanaka, too? Kuro hugs her camera drawn weirdly as and squirms out of a corner. Nanaka falls behind her, a vibrantly colored cat behind her. Her shoots anyways. Oh, it's Kuro! <laughs> Damn it, I thought I had a secret scoop in the bag. Put the check the professor bringing Percy Kaya and Miss Eos into the storerooms for suspicious activities. I bet it would have topped the searches. Oh no, it's Kuro, shoot! <laughs> All gone to waste because of this cat. Meow. But it's very cute and its fur is very pretty too. It throws intensely. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Cat like this are a dime at a dozen in the poor bank sector, aren't they? Are you jealous, Kuro? Do you want to be on the end of those pets from Nanaka? So, why are the two of you sneaking around here? Don't 
try to change the subject. I heard everything. You knocked someone out and brought them over here and you were talking, talking about how to dispose of her, right? Oh, professor, you look like such a gentle little flower, but then it turns out you're into this kind of stuff in secret. I heard it too. Professor, this is... Oh, huh? it's... it's a girl? As the two of them see the unconscious puzzle, the look on Kuro's face immediately changes. Holy crap, Professor! Are you for real? And we should have their own pelvis, right? <laughs> oh, let's go with that one. Yeah, this is freaking me out! Alright, stop messing around, Kuro. We still have work to do. Persicara explains the situation to them. So the statues are actually running wild? Yeah, and we need to figure out why ASAP, but we don't want to affect the festival either. In order to buy time, we have no choice but to subdue Puzzle. I see. Ah, oh, we might be able to help with that too. We can come up with a suitable excuse to make sure everyone keeps their distance from the statues during the show. After that, we can announce it to everyone during the performance. Will that work, Kuro? Of course, it's easy peasy. This is the great Kuro's forte, after all. Making up shit? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nanaka and Kuro. Still, that only buys us a bit of time. We need to run a full diagnostic on the statues before that. Oh, hey! If you're talking about diagnostics, I finished them already. Ranko? She comes and goes without a trace. The administrator contacted me earlier, so I went and checked the other statues backstage. Currently, it's very likely that they've been filter fitted with basic neural clouds. In that case, it was fitted with the rumors going on between us traders about how a certain sculpture wanted to make her works more lifelike, so she messed around with their insights. Basic neural clouds are very unstable. If you're not careful, they run the risk of becoming Avaran programs. But without deliberate interference, they shouldn't be turning hostile in the short term. In any case, I picked up some simple preventative measures with the statues and asked Miss Rico to check the source of the items. That way, there shouldn't be any more cases of narrow clouds going berserk. How come you're being so nice to us? Are you going to charge us for this or something? Yeah, Miss Kuro, you've gotten things wrong. This is after sale service. We don't build for that. It's just that my skills aren't as practiced as Miss Rico. But for safety's sake, I'd like to get Miss Persicari to check them out with me too. Alright, I'll come help. Although, were you here from the beginning? It wasn't just Miss Ranko. All three of us were here before you came in. This fox was going on about rehearsals must be tough. Why don't you head on backstage and get some rest? And then she brought us in here. And then the moment we stepped inside, she was bugging us for autographs. Um, isn't that kind of expected considering how popular you are? And you like that feeling, don't you, Kuro? <laughs> it's one thing to like it, but who the heck starts by asking for 500 autographs? She wants to resell them, of course. The... You know, a stonks. The only one who can write that fast is not on the night before her deadline, right? I don't mind if it's for a fan. It's an idol duty. No, 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 she wants to she wants to resell them on the internet. Though it is a bit much. Still, are they really for her fans? No, she wants to sell them. Don't listen to her. Well, the two of you have contributed greatly to the barbank sector, so you have countless fans here. In other words, they're going to be super popular merch. If you can provide me with autographs, I can trade your, vi your VIP tickets for the upcoming performance. Why would anyone need a VIP ticket for their own show? You can give them to your friends, your lover, or your business partners. It's all very practical. Every other word that comes out of her mouth is about business. Do you really are a certain person's understudy? Yeah, the way you shamelessly exploit every single opening you find is exactly the same as Rico. 
They keep talking about Nora. This relationship really has been hasn't been changed. Yeah, I'm just like, oh yes, yeah, sure, Nora, of course, of course, Nora. Yeah, Nora, the writer we totally have, and we definitely didn't skip that Nora, that that one Nora. Mm, yes, we love Nora. You can't compare Miss Rico to a mook like me. If it were her, I bet she'd be able to come up with a deal that made both sides more profit. Huh? I've done my best to learn the tricks of doing business and increasing my turnover in order to catch up to her. No, I must have been brought to the base by a totally cute croc. I mean, didn't you see Croc at the start? She's totally fine. No, in tropics, she's not in a coma, fighting in tropics. No, she's totally fine. She's totally oh, okay. I just keep thinking of Bridge Nora. <laughs> You'll get to see her tomorrow, Sonny. Don't miss her too much. <laughs> Are you sure we're talking about the same Rico here? You might not have realized this, but she's a legendary figure in the Trader Collective. When Magrasea was pure scared up from the real world, the operant movements of many places stagnated due to the sector lockdowns. It won't be like cutting the blood vessels in a human being, enough to cause the operant circulation within Magrasea to completely break down. As traders, it was only natural that our business would be greatly affected by this, and during the worst times, some of our friends ended up going missing due to a lack of operants. Was it that bad? Couldn't you use us a live stream and hand out rewards or something? Kuro, live streams aren't that easy for amateurs to pull off. Ooh. That's alright. Kuro can make a living in that way because of her unique abilities. But we're just too weak. We can't fight and we don't have any particular strength. We can't do anything other than make deals by the rules. But at a, at a life or death moment, Miss Rico stepped up. She encouraged everyone to stick together, pull their information and conduct mercantile activities as a whole. With her leading us, the traders managed to overcome the status quo and got more business. Things slowly began to look up for us, and it indirectly led to operas circulating throughout Magrasea again. Wow, that's my daughter. Wow, but the star of all that is Rico. That Rico. Could it be that she had hidden depths that she's never revealed? Or is this some kind of gap moe? Still, she does look like the sort of person who can find business opportunities in the midst of danger. True. Yeah, thanks to Miss Rico training us up, the other traders have slowly gained the keen nose or business that we have now. I made a deal with Miss Rico that no matter how hard I have to try, I'll bring the entire trader collective towards a better, brighter future. So please, Miss Anaka and Miss Kuro, can you please lend Ranko a hand for the sake of her dream? Wait, do I... Why do you have to sacrifice an arm and a leg for your dream? I get it now, Miss Ranko. Of course, Nanaka will say, Why are you so pure? N Nanaka? I understand what it's like to gain a strength from admiring someone and using it to move forward. This is the purpose for which idols exist. I can't disappoint my fans, and I can't disappoint Miss Rico's fan either. Let us join hands to share this passion with all our fans throughout the barbank sector, Miss Ranko. Oh, she's so cute. In the first place, Rico isn't an idol. You'll help us too, won't you, Kuro? Ah, <laughs> uh, since Nanaka said as much, alright then. Simp. Simp. Sweet. Thank you, Miss Nanaka. Uh, thanks, I'll help you lay out the stage for your coming show. Also, please accept these VIP tickets. You shouldn't have. It's merely an insignificant token of thanks for all the care that everyone from the Oasis has shown us. I do recognize a fellow simp, yes. I'm also hoping that you'll be able to watch our show from the special seats, Professor. As it happens, I want to see you on corner stage, yes. In my dorm, I have Nanaka and Kuro in the same room. Good. Do not separate. What about you, Ranko? I'll be selling snacks in the audience seats once the show starts, of course. 
Damn, not even the wage slaves in the production teams work as hard as you. That's it then. After we finish checking the statues, we'll go watch the show together. How exciting. We need to thank Miss Ranko for giving us a chance to do this. It's an honor! <laughs> Make sure you come by. Ranko beeps with a sincere smile. Meanwhile, in the rehearsal room. Sorry, I love this song. Hold it right there, Dark Brother N. I love the guitar. Show yourself at last, then, mysterious warrior S. I won't let you get away with your. your. with your wickedness. With your wickedness! I won't let you get away with your wickedness! Now face the judgment of justice! Sol unconsciously draws her swords and then she freezes in mirror. Ah. Uh. You got the post wrong, Sol. Sorry, my eyes got the better of me and. Now taste the judgment of justice. That was it, right? That's Omega's pose. Mysterious Warrior S has her right hand lower and her left leg is further out. That way she looks more relaxed. Wow, this is complex. Well, practice for another 20 minutes. Make sure you remember these movements and your stage pathing. 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 Sheesh. Oh, power of the mysterious warrior. Answer my heart of justice. Are you ready? Mr. Warrior, transform! Hedging! <laughs> No, we're not gonna see the henshin. Christ. Yep, that pack was more or less okay. So it's just okay then. Hey, acting isn't that easy. Still, you should take a break. Here, at last. I'm sorry, was I being too harsh? A if, it was actually pretty fun. Good. Frankly speaking, you've done very well by making this much progress with your acting skills. <laughs> So it felt like I was going with my instincts for the most part. Mr. Warrior S is so serious in the script, it's kind of a challenge for me. For instance, if I run into danger, I will personally transform right away, rather than wait for the enemy to get in my face first. But the the, the pacing, soul. You need to watch more Tokusatsu shows. That won't do. Your anger needs to reach a certain level first before you can use the transformation device. Only anger can drive Mysterious Warrior S to cast aside her doubts and awaken her courage and sense of justice. Yeah, exactly, the dramatic effect. But why does it have to be driven by anger? Can't she prove her courage and justice by just picking up her weapon and beating the enemy? They are in the same thing. Nasira suddenly sits up and fixes soul with a stern look. Although, it might sound strange coming from a villain like me. For a mysterious warrior, transforming isn't as simple as picking up a weapon. It implies that they're determined to abandon their normal everyday selves and ascend into a dangerous world through unknown means in order to fight for peace. Activating their transformation is the moment in which they show their determination. Only by fully showing this process can we allow everyone to believe that it is love, courage and justice which propels them from an ordinary person into a hero. Not just telling everyone that a hero of justice can save them, but also encouraging others to follow in their footsteps. That's the reason why I admire the mysterious warriors. As Sol looked into Nasira's steady gaze, she recalls the figure of the mysterious warrior once again. Your eyes. Nasira, the look in your eyes just now was the same as a mysterious warrior of justice. That was the same look that encouraged me back then and made me want to fight to protect others. That belief of mine has never changed from when I was an expedition guide, all the way until now in Magrasea. That will be your entire career then. 
Yep, that's why. If I were Mysterious Warrior S, I choose to fight straight away to protect everyone the moment I obtain the power to do so. No matter what price I had to pay. Because that is what I've always believed. But I also understand what you're trying to say. Regardless of the process, a Mysterious Warrior will always choose to fight for everyone's sake, right? So our conclusions are the same in the end. The same, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm not good at the complex thinking business. Usually let Persicare handle all that. Yeah, we know so. I will love you like that. No, that was well said. After hearing you say this, I'm starting to understand what the director was trying to do. The dark to dark communication. <laughs> Someone filled with courage and with a sense of justice like yours will definitely be able to portray Mysterious Warrior as well. Here, take this. Is this... a transformation device? Yep. Once you wear this on your waist, you can transform at will. Of course it goes in her, in her waist. Not only does your transform armor look cool, it also f it's also filled with real operands. In other words, it has actual combat power. Oh, so it's that realistic? How could anyone believe in the mysterious war if it wasn't realistic? Nasira smiles smugly. For some reason, I keep thinking that you have a really deep understanding of what it means to be a hero of justice. The director really should have chosen you to be the lead. At the very least, you shouldn't be a villain. Want me to go back and try to plead with her for you? Hey Seiya! Welcome to the weekly English lesson. <laughs> We were wondering at the start what invert inverted modern resonance means. Resonance. Oh, this guy. I saw a screenshot of him. Like I've been saying from the start, dolls can't be actors. Well, shut up. I want a perfect star. They need to have fearless courage that comes from within. An optimistic outlook and a drive that pushes them or ever onward. You, on the other hand, are just a machine that can only produce crude imitations of others. Contact Cyber Media. I want a refund. Sheesh! She was refunded? No, I haven't unlocked all the story notes. <laughs> I started like a day or two late, so. Such. Never mind, Sol. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. However, the leading role isn't something that just anyone is qualified to take. I've only used to unlock everything today. Sheesh, how do you guys are so fast? Why is that? Aren't you a specialized tokusatsu actress doll? You should be more qualified than me, right? It's because I'm a doll like that that my understanding and inclination towards justice might be nothing more than base commands. But you and Omega are different. You're agents who naturally develop a sense of justice. Your justice is purer than mine, so you're better suited to being mysterious warriors than me. Well, I don't quite get it. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, it's a cat from Persicaria. She's asking if you want to watch Nanaka and Kuro's show. She even got VIP tickets. How about it, Nasira? But our rehearsals... Ah, uh, you think of it as taking a break and using the opportunity to change the mood. Come on, won't you go too? Alright then. Let's go! Unable to withstand Sol's passionate offensive, Nasira accepted the invitation in the end. Yeah, I got the thing! I want the thing, I want to, I want to equip the thing. Let it background, where is it? Doko. Look at look at Suyoi there. My boy that was murdered in core blood. Um. No. I didn't want to do that. Is that Sue Joy from the hit Gacha Game Project Neural Cloud? I need too many. 
to reach the next one. Wait, what? Clear bombing stage 2 and raise crowds forever to level 10 to unlock. Fuck! How many do I get with each run? Time to grind? Time to play the game? <laughs> no! <laughs> How dare they make me play? Okay. I can probably do this. How much would it give me though? Gameplay in my visual novel. with them we use the same theme let's go same hat all right now it's time to play I've never actually played this I've been doing everything on I've been, I've been doing everything on, on uh plan mode I <laughs> <laughs> want this to Oh, you're right, the keys. I mean, I still have like 600 tickets. So. Okay, so far, so good. Sigil. Mm, specialist, fuck. Okay, they're good so far. Just let them play on their own. Oh, okay. Sure, try for the medic. I'm gonna risk it. Oh god! I feel this is a bad idea. Where's the medic? Frog. Oh, it's a frog, right? Okay, frog dead. <clears throat> we all hate the frog. All my homies hate the frog. It's almost a photo stand. Oh, it's Willow. Oh, 
<laughs> we all hate the frog, it's fine. Ah, uh, many hundred hit open increased. Mm. I'm saying Prank will reflect. Oh. Let's get that. Frog abomination. I hate the frog. All my homies hate the frog. Um, let's go annoy the area. Wow, thank the fire for patrolling the streets of Portbank. Hang yourselves, everyone. Relax, all. If you look closely, you'll see that they're just ancient trees like sanctifiers. It's true. These ancients are way too daring when it comes to the subject of their cosplays. Let's give it a try too. Tend the threat upgraded, overloaded. Status enemies in the last complex zone. Mm. Let's go, let's try. Let's risk it. Oh, this is reinforcement. Oh, a sniper. Uh, I guess I should get Diane. We bought for quadruple rewards, yeah. And she's the only one I had like properly raised. Sale. No, I must resist. We're wildly popular. NAB sale is no one. If your fancy strikes, then why not buy? Miss Fox, if you miss a chance like this, you won't get another. Um, but rank on the other young ones are all having a hard time. Restrain the strength of an exchange trader. Give all your cash coins to rank on, then earn 10% interest for every space you move. Obtain the amount plus interest at a certain next level. Or obtain a random function card. <laughs> I mean, the level is about to end, so might as well. Operate a function card. Let's upgrade the... Frostbite, or...? Yeah, let's upgrade that. We invest. Stonks. Okay. Uh... To... Oh no, actually I can... There's no tile back there, so I can just put you there. Alright. In Rico Investments, we trust. Let's kill that frog, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. Please kill the frog, there we go. What is going on now? There's too much things happening. And I lost my... Where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, oh no! I can't see! Uh, I don't have warriors. I did lose my mouse for a second. Miss Eos has prepared a mysterious festival gift box for the winner. Then uh, a random positive pro protocol. All the units will open and damage equal to 100% of the hash rate to enemy units within a. Ooh, ooh, nice. Alright, what's this? Always deal an additional 20% damage when attacking units with higher HP. With all units, does it mean does it mean the enemies too? Does it mean the enemies? Give me more. Yo, look at our investments! You're some the enemy, yeah. Let's go, you love to see it. Let's go for medic. Mm. 
Let's not stand there. And what's this? Super armor. Okay. Come on, hit it. Hit it harder. <laughs> Made grant the target an HP shield. Uh, we we'll gonna have the auto skin recharge sped up. Uh, let's go with HP shield. We love some HP shield. Should I risk the guard one? Let's risk it. Oh god, what are these? Sheesh! Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Okay, we good. We good, we good. Ooh! Recover HP, or is that again? HP shield? Or increase backlash? Oh, this one. If an ally do this as a normal attack on a non boss enemy. Okay, yeah, let's grab that one. Uh, let's grab another duel. A guard. Oh, I can get another guard. Who should I get? I don't have... I don't have guards raised. <laughs> hmm. Did you go with Python, I guess? Sniper. You. You here. You here. You here. You here. What did his ult do again? Snake eater. Oh yeah, the smoke grenade. Good. <laughs> Snipers have their attack increased. Yeah. Uh, function library. What do we get? Snipers are guaranteed to crit when targeting an enemy under a control effect. When allies have a shield, normal attack still additional directed physical damage. Maybe convert to behind and to recover their HP every time they heal all our units. I have shields, so let's go with that. Let's go anomaly area. Uh, we're almost at the end, so... Upgrade. Rescue extraction... Could be... Oh, or like, let's... Let's create that. All right. Let's go.
Okay, we're good. I got scared there for a second because the statue was awake. Uh, no specialists. Okay, upgrade that. And what do we have here? Uh, positive protocol, give me. Aim attack speed is reduced by 30%. Let's fucking go. Let's start a battle, all units in the center row. In the center row. Row, column row. Okay, again, 50%. Attack on Hashi while those in other rows lose 20%. Okay, so I want to have people on the center row, is what you're saying. What you're trying to tell me. What's this? Awakens at the start of battle, gaining super armor as well as silencing and damaging all enemies in the surrounding tiles. Okay. Just the one enemy, so it's fine. Okay. Oh no, a warrior. I don't have warriors. Sheesh. Oh wait, there's only two. Oh, but this. I just noticed this ice can be destroyed. Uh, brrr, discard. Give me money. Should I? Should I try to get someone else? Or should I go into a trading area? Real questions here. The real, the real strategy moment begins. Oh, there's a training area up there. Let's let's get someone then. Let's see who can we get. A medic. Hersika. Um, anomaly... When you consider it, Miss Nasira, our late lord has been vacant for far too long. Are you talking about that script for Let's Be Bad Kids together? Heck no. Fighting is one thing, but selling lure material is absolutely not okay. Uh, but isn't it a secret society fighting back against a corporation that controls the entire city a great script? Maybe we can try it later, though it looks like we'll have to pay a price for it. Oh yeah. We want to spread love and justice, it's not that kind of love. Uh, let's go with the, for the trading area. What do we have here? Solemn dignity. Purchase. Purchase. Refresh. Allergy, allergy, allergy. Ah. Probably get one more. Fuck. Wait. Hmm. 
this game. <laughs> the full armory out here. <laughs> If I refresh one more, I have still four, and I could maybe get an upgrade or one more function. I'll save one slot open just in case. Uh, buying at the store. That's that's how it be. Thirsty Sigil. Upgrade. What do we upgrade? Allergy. this let's go let's go let's go look at them destroy I love allergy too, even since I discovered its existence. Mm. Let's upgrade. And a random positive protocol. <laughs> <laughs> How many layers layers does this have? Oh we're on the last one. Literally the last one. <laughs> Alright. Here's where we see if I actually did things good. There's five layers later? What? Let's see if we can do this. Raven. I need to stop the speed. I <laughs> everything happens too fast. Shining 
Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Oh man, I need to do to do it one more if I unlock one more one more thing. What should I unlock? More max functions? Conversion rate of keys to development points additional increased? What does this mean? Get the conversion one ASAP? Okay, I'll trust you. I don't really understand what it's for, but I'll trust you. The radio of keys to tickets. Ah, okay. Oh shit. Okay. Sorry, I literally just felt something behind me and I shit my pants. Okay. I almost had a heart attack. Do I wanna do it once more? Once more. What do I have here? Fragment search 30 times. Spend a total of 800 energizers. I can probably get that done. I think I have energizers. What can I get? Boosters. Go back to making money. Bam, bam, bam. Woo! Let's go. We did it. For every enemy, a summoner unit person at the start of battle, all units gain 3% attack. Hmm. Max HP, crit rate, oh, crit rate, skill haste. Do I want crit rate? Or HP? Great, great. Well, check that later. Now it's lore time! Forgot where the lore is. Here it is. And then we'll be like halfway through, so... We should be good to leave it there for next week. <laughs> Let's go. Yet noise has found its way into the song. At the Crescenti Theater, those agents who have come to watch the shows are steadily filling the best performance hall. Can we really see Nanaka and Kuro in the flesh? No way! This isn't my tertiary layer, is it? <laughs> wow. Back then, I missed Nanaka's farewell concert because I had overtime and as a result I blue screened for three days and three nights. <laughs> wow! I finally have a chance to make up for it. The decorations are so lavish and the layer is so insanely bold! That's a great Kuro for you! 
The 18 staffers are all in fancy dress. Even the kitty cats passing through the scene look super cool. In the VIP seats. There sure are a lot of agents here. Corbank Sanctor is called the Sleepless City precisely because of these ever passionate agents. That said, things probably wouldn't be this lively if not for Nanaka and Kuro's performance. I love that I is calling it blue screen, yep. It is, it is what it is. And the two of them taught the true meaning of entertainment to the masses once again, doing something that even the sanctifiers couldn't do. Their popularity today is well deserved. All this also thanks to you, Kuruko. Thank you! You brought them to the Borbank sector and helped brighten up the mood of the festival considerably. Hmm? I brought them here? Didn't you send the invitation to thank Nanaka and Kuro? Hmm? Did I? Squints! Meryl looks thoughtfully at Eos. The latter nods and smiles. Oh, so it was you. I see. Miss Mary, what exactly? Relax, we'll consider that to be what happened then. Since you arrived, you might as well relax and enjoy this carnival with us. Beep, beep, beep. A certain ring interrupts our conversation. Yo, it's me. <laughs> Imagine answering the phone like that. Yo, it's me. The what? Mary suddenly jumps to her feet. For the first time, there is a look of anxiety, anxiety on her face. I understand. Stay put and don't run around. I'll be right there. Did something happen? There was a small accident. KTV agent one. In other words, mysterious wear Omega that you saw earlier. Seems to have malfunctioned. What? Malfunctioned? To be precise, he suddenly stopped moving. Like he had crashed. There is no time for jokes, what with the show about to begin and all. I wish I were a medical doll. Oh yes, Persicaria, didn't you say you were an expert in this field before? I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I have some experience with these matters. Could I trouble you to go with me to check on mysterious warrior Omega? Persicaria looks at me. Saving people comes first, of course you can. Thank you. I think cooperation meeting is definitely on the cards after the festival. Then I'll have to trouble you to head down there for a bit, Persicaria. We'll be right back, Professor. Persicaria glances worriedly at Eos, and then Mary drags her away. We're alone again! Oh god, she said that. <laughs> Looks like we're alone with each other again, Professor. Does this count as fate? You people seem to like that word a lot. You don't need to be so eager to get close to me. <laughs> yes, starts flirting right away. Stranger danger. <laughs> I was drinking that made me laugh, sorry. <laughs> It's fatal, right? Perhaps it is a fatal encounter of sorts. Unfortunately, there are too many noisy people here, so we can't enjoy the peace and quiet by yourselves. Before I can finish, the crowd erupts into a raucous cheer. Yay! Reusing CGs! Oh man, I don't have the speaker voice here, it's fine. Next up, the song Bounce, Bounce on Parade, as performed by Nanaka and Kuro. Wow! Yo, they actually put the song with lyrics. Everyone, thanks for coming to watch our show. Small in the company, please understand. Where's the Nanaka skin? I know, right? I need it. It's a bop. This is an unprecedented comeback. Send all your peers to the stage. 
This song is on Spotify, not a sponsor by the way. <laughs> they use how the dolls of the Bormack sector are. They gladly spend operas for their own entertainment. Perhaps this behavior will be deemed irregular in other sectors. This song is way too good. I know, right? Yosa smiles as she looks towards the stage. As the background music plays, Naka's voice is spreads throughout the interior of the Crescent Theater. You can you can read this yourself. It's literally the song lyrics. Not from this bag, but not thinking, no. <laughs> if I had the lyrics in Japanese, maybe I would give it a try. That same alien will not stand out any more here than a drop of water will in the ocean. If we are out of place, they will be flagged as an irregular agent and run the risk of being purged. Are you hinting at us? Can I interpret that as you questioning the judgment criteria with the sanctifiers use? So even though you know it's ridiculous, you are still eliminating those whom you judge to be irregular agents? I have never said that it was ridiculous. Being in this place is an abnormality in itself, and we have a duty to correct that. Of course, I will continue to examine and consider what degree of displacement should constitute a threat. I contemplated the matter at great length, but the answer did not become any clearer to me. Is that why you're here? I kind of wanna have the issue. I, I want a version with Nanaka and Kuro's VAs singing this. I need this. Hello, Mika. I took too long. Now the song ended. And the more I thought, the more vexed I became. And why is that? In our logic, everything must be rational. Logical judgment will never result in irrational behavior. Let me let me put the song of YouTube of YouTube. <laughs> it's too silent. Um, how's it called again? Narrow cloud. Uh, it is on Spotify, but I, I mean, I do have Spotify here. I'm just not sure how to use it properly. Uh, blah 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 blah. blah. It might be this one. Here we go. Oh wait, I need to fin I need to fix the audio stuff first. Audio sources because I change, I change, I change browsers. So now I need to set this up again. There we go. There we go. Hey, Kalios. What's the song title? Yes.
It's something parade. <laughs> that's that's a song name if anyone wants to look it up. <laughs> You can find it on Spotify. I know it's in it's in Japanese too on Spotify, so <clears throat> But rationality itself is simply a quality that is defined by someone. And those who then think rational are human beings. Wow, this song is more romantic than I thought. Nanaka and Kuro per Kuro's performance gradually heats up and the doll's cheers grow louder. And even the cat wending its way between them can't help but wag its tail in time with the beat. What, the cat is on a stage? Who let the cat on a stage? Huh? Take for instance these agents who are lost in rivalry. I think it's too loud. Should pull. I, I forgot to put this on loop. There we go. <laughs> Take for instance these agents who are lost in rivalry, these strangely adorned small animals, this huge performance. Only in the Burbank sector do they make sense. But how should I understand that? What is the meaning and value of their actions right now? As in response to EO's question, the song reaches its climax, and the agent's cheers reach a fever pitch. Why do they seek entertainment like this? Where does this desire come from? If this was all programmed, then is it a real, true desire? Why are you getting all existential on me? Or rather, is it just a false pursuit produced as an in imitation? What do you think, Professor? Just let me hear the song, man. Itai. Bang! Why is there a bang? Oh, the fireworks. You're saying important stuff. Yeah, I know, but like the song. That one bit of flashback later. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Fireworks erupt above the stage, they light up Burbank Sector's night sky, the crowd that's brimming with enthusiasm and Neos as she smiles at me. Just as I'm thinking about how to answer, Okay, it's time to end the song now. No more singing. Music stops. Time for dorks to scream. Wow, Kuru actually worried about someone? It's more likely than you think. Nanaka, are you alright? The statue on the stage suddenly begins to move and takes a swing at Nanaka and Kuro. But how? Persikai and Ranko check these statues. With the tempo of their performers messed up, 
The audience below is startled by the strange cry coming from the statue. The cat hops down from the chair and meows shrilly. That looks more like a sneer, like like a hiss, you know, like more like a meow. You know? I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if the microphone is picking those sounds up. What's that? Was it a stage effect? That's good cool for you. Your shoes are always so unconventional. No, girls, please get out of here. Meow hissingly. Meow. <laughs> How do you? <laughs> wow, the other starters are moving too. It's a bit like rock and roll. They're headed for the VIP seats. Oh no. The statues wobble over in our direction. Oh, hey. What? Wait, is that a Dranko? There is a fox dressed up like a, like a sales girl and holding all manner of snacks near the stage area. She's currently panicking and trying to flee from the statues. <laughs> hey, isn't that vendor girl too close to the statues? Why are you screaming again? Wah! She's in danger. Nyom. Just as a statue is about to grab Ranko, a ray of light that sparkles like a galaxy suddenly flashes past, forcefully shoving her back. Is it coming rider time? Is that a stage effect? It's as pretty as the starry sky. There's a white spotlight over there too. As the light appears, the front two rows of the statues stop moving. At the same time, Eos pulls back her outstretched hand from where she's standing beside me. Oh, it was her. These seven statues have developed desires they should not have. Like what? There's more on the left and right. It seems Kuro and the others activated too many statues. Fortunately, she reacted quickly and she has her keyboard in hand. What about your sanctifiers? Wouldn't it kill the mood to have sanctifiers on patrol during a festival? That's why they pull out of the Borbank sector ahead of time. Wow, thank you. So you didn't have anything to detect emergencies like this ahead of time? I do, of course, but regrettably, regrettably, it seems that by the looks of things, none of them have fulfilled their function. Wow, do your job properly. I have not received any notifications of initial activity yet. As we speak, my communicator starts to ring. Professor, something's not right. While we were checking on the unconscious mysterious warrior Omega, he suddenly went berserk. We couldn't stop him. All we could do was watch him run toward the, th toward the theater. It was something very grim about him, like he was being controlled by something. Also, Buffett's gone missing too, even though she was supposed to be passed out in the storeroom. I see. That matches up with the present situation. What situation? Did something happen at the theater? Yeah, I'm gonna need your help, Persicaria. A statue suddenly appears in front of me and knocks my communicator away before trying to punch me. Only for Eos to block it with a wave of her hand once again. But my, my, my cell phone... There are more of them than I expected. At this rate, we and Kuro won't be able to hold out for long. Why are there so many growers? Hey, aren't the stage effects a little too realistic? Do your best, Kuro! Take him out! Crap, 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 crap! Ah, <laughs> oh, little gremlin. Look out, Kuro! There's more behind you! Crap! Why are you not cursing? <laughs> On my throat. Just as Kuro is about to be overwhelmed, a golden figure suddenly blitzes past us and rushes onto the stage. Yeah! Hold it right there, statue monster! I will let you get away with your wickedness! Alright, oh, she can't curse in Borbank. Miss Sol! That, that's the person who defeated the Dark Warrior from before! 
Now face the judgment of justice! <laughs> yeah, I remember the... the <laughs> I wish I had that back then. Yeah, Henshin! Wow, another stool! So generous. I didn't expect that incident makes a court and call for a play that much more exciting. I hope they put a transformation animation in. Me too, but I doubt it. Several minutes earlier, outside the Crescente, the Crescente Theater. Oh no, I can already hear Nanak and Kuro singing from so far away. Sorry, it was my fault for delaying you because I had to explain how to operate the transformation device along the way. No, 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 we were supposed to be using this time for rehearsals anyway. It's my fault for wanting to go see the concert. Wow, dork to door communication. They both apologize to each other, and then they meet each other's gazes on love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, dorks. You really are a nice person, Nasira. I'm glad I accepted this acting gig so I could get to know you better. 225 out of 230 keys. Oh, I have 225 keys already. I'm also honored to meet someone as talented as you, Sol. I'm sure you'll make a great mysterious warrior S. Well, even if you say that, I'm still not entirely confident. After all, I've been getting by on my instincts until now. Why do the names not match though? Because we have Mysterio Warrior Omega and we have Mysterio Warrior S. Why didn't they give her like uh, a letter also, a Greek letter? Oh no. <laughs> no! <laughs> What's up, Nanaka? Judging by her voice, things don't seem too good. Something might have happened. Let's hurry over. And that's how we got here. Sola and Nasira burst through the doors and into the Crescente Theater. The stage is in chaos. Did those status go berserk again? Kuro and Anaka are in danger. Go, Sol, attack! Huh? Sol? But... While Nasira is still hesitating, Sol has already rushed up onto the stage with strides swift as the wind, kicking away the statue that was about to catch Kuro off guard. Hold it right there, statue monster! I won't let you get away with your wickedness! Now face the judgment of justice! Let's go! Are you a badass soul? Well, I'd like to say that now is not the time to act cool! Horn and help Nanaka! We can, protect her. we can protect her and she can transfer operands to us! I don't need you to tell me that! <laughs> Kuro has to protect her Oshi! The three of them coordinate and briefly suppress the statues on a stage. But then there's a disruption in the audience area below. Oh, I thought a soul was going to transform. Who's this now? A staffer? They're really using blades. It doesn't feel like an act at all. Wait, are those real monsters? Oops. It doesn't look like things are going well, Professor. Yeah, the agents are starting to sense something is wrong. If they fall into panic because of fear, not only will this festival that everyone works so hard on be ruined, you'll be in danger too. Then do something about it. Right now, those statues seem to be targeting the people on stage. But if there's a disturbance in the audience, it'll be hard to predict the statue's movements. Not to mention the people on stage aren't doing too well either. More and more statues are on the stage to start up and they rush up onto the stage. While the three of them can just barely fend them off for now, they are clearly no match for an enemy which grows steadily more numerous. Indeed, it is as you say. However... Who's laughing? <laughs> oh, there we go. A dark shadow suddenly descends from above, landing on the stage and shocking all the agents present. It's time for improv! Yes! Keep trembling! Keep whimpering in fear! 
Your planning will be the fuel for these statue monsters. Those are the faces we want to see. May terror and gold this entire festival. <laughs> she said it. She said the word. What? Are you retarded? Mas no, you're... Your exclamation point. <laughs> Mods, get her! <laughs> a transformer still a gesture with her hand to her waist while looking at Sol. So it freezes up for a moment and then it dawns on her. I'm glad they left it in. I mean, it fits Kuro's character, so. There are still many statue monsters left. Do you think you can handle them all by yourself? You wanna be hero? I'm not a wannabe hero. I am a hero. So it presses down on the transformation device at her waist. Let's go. Oh, power of the mysterious warrior! Answer my heart of justice! That's a line, Sol! Are you ready? Mysterious warrior, transform! Yeah! Let's go! In an instant, a flare of orange light blankets the stage. Yeah, it's just so cool! <laughs> I'll just use the same effect for her. Kamen Rider build transformation sequence. Okay, now how to look that up. Because I've only seen Kamen Rider double. Kamen Rider build henshin. And then I noticed the. I saw someone post the, the Omega guy. He's in, in the pose. Let's see this one. You might hear, it's fine. Where is the Henshin? Oh, I love the. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it says, Are you ready? Henshin! I see. That's cool. God, but yeah, the clothes and the armor is so cool. The friend of justice, Mr. Warrior S, has arrived. What? It's a new mysterious warrior. But it was a part of the show. It was so realistic. The agents are no longer panicked. Instead, they rallied and are shouting their support for Mr. Warrior S on stage. Do your best, Mr. Warrior S! Defeat the Dark Warrior! Kukukula, you're nothing but a rookie! Do you really say it? Do you really laugh like that? Do you think you can defeat my elite forces with your untested armor? I may not have much experience fighting, but my heart of justice won't lose to anyone. Moreover, there are so many people supporting me now. I can lose now. Take this. Mysterious assimilation. What is that? Whoa. Yeah, but how? I love that. <laughs> I love that she gets the question marks on her helmet. <clears throat> My power is straining away. I love this. <laughs> now pay for your sins. Mr. Warrior S punches and kicks. 
taking the statue monster down one after another. I need to know who is the Kamen Rider fan on Mika Team because Ro also has a Ro has a Kamen Rider double line. Yeah, that was a yeah yeah the Sims line. Oh my no Tony Casuero or something like that. <laughs> Very badly pronounced. I can't remember the the phrase. My body feels so light. This transforming device really does condense the power of Operans. I can do it! I can beat them! Go, soul! Let me your strength, please, all idols! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kuro, improvise! Where to start making fun of you now. But that's okay, we'll back you up. Nanaka, so lovely, so sweet. In exploration, good friend, there's a bunch of Kamen Rider references. Really? On Kirk Case BK? Ooh. As the agents here, the final statue monster is surrounded by mysterious wearer S. Kuro and Nanaka are taken down. Meanwhile, Dark Warrior N has retreated to the corner of the stage. She has collapsed onto one knee and her body is trembling. Taste the feet. I didn't think a mere mouth could command this kind of power. But that's alright. It'll be your funeral the next time we meet, mysterious warrior. Don't you forget that. She's so good at improv. Dark smoke builds up and Dark Warrior N vanishes without a trace. Justice shall triumph! Woo! Mysterious Warrior S strikes a victory pose and the audience responds with thunderous applause. Yeah! How exciting, Professor. Why don't you, why don't you look excited then? <laughs> Say that with more feeling, man. Oh, there you go. She used her armor's combat performance and her acting skills to skillfully resolve the crisis. As I thought, the dolls with narrow clouds all have trump cards hidden up their sleeves. Humst? I should say that you're the one with an ace in the hole, Miss Eos. Oh? A familiar voice suddenly speaks from behind me. Looking back, I see Percy Caria, with opponents gathered and ready to fire at Eos. Get away from that woman, Professor. Yo, what? <laughs> We're doing anything, Percy, I swear. Backstage at the Crescenti Theater. Percy <laughs> and let's go! <laughs> so that's what happened. Well play, you two. It nearly scared the crap out of me. She looks so cool. I thought thanks to Miss Nasira's hint. I was going by feeling all the way. Yeah, although I still don't understand why those statues turn well again. I'd like to get the professor and the others to check them another time. Persikaya finally realized, apparently. In that case, Kurone will stick to the plan and use the big screens to warn everyone to stay away from the statues. Fortunately, the disturbance just now was mistaken for part of the show. Now it'll be more convincing if we make an appearance again. Well said, that's a mega for you. Let's be off then. Zip. You should go look for the Professor Tussle. Can you still move? Of course, my body is solid as a rock. Oh, yo, I love that green. You look so good. You look so cool. Where are you not a better unit? It must have been really hard for you to fight off that many statue monsters. I'm sorry I couldn't assist directly. Okay, Nasia, have a good sleep. And thanks for the cool voice effects. You're welcome. I try my best. So this actually tires you, this event. <laughs> for real. 
All the hash rate cards? Oh! Good to know. What are you saying? If you hadn't been secretly hindering the statues while you were on stage, I wouldn't have been able to take them down while protecting the others. More to the point, I just reached on a stage back then and nearly sparked a panic among the agents. This could have gotten really ugly. That's not it, Sol. Nasira smiles bitterly and shakes her head. In times of crisis and when witnessing danger, rushing in without a second thought is exactly what a hero ought to be doing. Compared to that, the first thing I did was to hesitate. I was worried about running the show, and I was afraid I couldn't beat that many statues. It just means you were more thoughtful than me, that's all. It shouldn't be like that. Maybe my justice is nothing more than obeying my base commands and obeying the justice that humans want me to carry out. That's why my first reflex was to value the performance over the agent's safety. Yeah, you're so annoying. Huh? In the end, you still put your worries aside and went up on stage to help me fight, right? I... You talk about orders, but when the time came, your body still ended up moving. Don't forget, in the end, we both chose to fight to protect everyone. We both came to the same conclusion. Another flashback. Yep, that's why, if I wear mysterious wire S, I choose to fight straight away to protect everyone the moment I obtain the power to do so, no matter what price I had to pay. Because that is what I've always believed. But I also understand what you're trying to say. Regardless of the process, a mysterious warrior will always choose to fight for everyone's sake, right? So our conclusions are the same in the end. Oh, Sol. I see. So that's it, Sol. Nasira looks at her own transformation device and looks down thoughtfully. In any case, don't worry about it so much. If you still can't get over it, then we will come then we'll, then when we come across a battlefield next time, I'll let you go first. Turn the Gusiman, want it? I'll do my best. Still, battles don't exactly come by every day. Oh, the professor and the others should be just up ahead. Just as she finishes speaking, the two of them suddenly sense a powerful surge of killing intent. Whoa, that was... Killing intent? Holy fuck! Get away from that woman, professor. Oh my, Miss Persicaria, why so serious? Leaving you along with the professor was a mistake on my part, but fortunately I came back in time to fix it. What an exaggerated way you're phrasing it. I haven't done anything to the professor yet, you know? Yet? What do you mean yet? Not yet, right? Yet. <laughs> yes, this is definitely a battlefield. Nasira, we agreed that you'd go first this time. <laughs> is, is this part of a hero's job too? No, you got girls, you don't want to get into that battlefield. Trust me. Trust me. Stretchy stretch. Wow, 229 keys. But yeah, it is time for me to go to lunch. go to lunch go get lunch get me something to eat and then get ready to 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 go pick up my sister use them kiss i will i will probably i mean i i will keep farming once I, when i eat <laughs> that's what i usually do but yeah let's go um let's mute these and get back here Oh, where's the where's the light effect? The light effect. Let's go. Let's get rid of that. Uh, on full screen. The four-hour stream was a nice time too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's fun. It is a fun event. It is a very fun event. 
I like, I haven't watched so much Kamen Rider, but what I did watch, I loved. And I, I mean, it's not Kamen Rider, but I grew up like watching Power Rangers. Like I watched so many Power Rangers shows. The, the, the West ones, of course, but I watched so many, you know, like from the first one. And then up to... Up to... I don't know, let me look at the list of shows. Because there were so many. Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin, where I started. Where is the list? Television series. No, uh... There's a list. Where's the list? Power Rangers uh, list. Power Rangers series. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Whoa, it had three seasons? I didn't know. The Alien Rangers, I don't know if I saw, but I did see, I did watch Power Rangers CO, Power Rangers Turbo, Power Rangers in Space, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, Wild Force, Ninja Storm, I think I skipped, or like, could you just kind of watch? Dino Thunder was the last one I kind of checked out. And then at end with SPD, I stopped. Because also I didn't watch that much TV by then, so... I remember the Samurais and the Megaforce too. Then there were more... I don't know why they did more Dino ones. Ninja Steel also, they did the Ninja ones again. So yeah, so this is fun, in a kind of cringe way, but also very fun. <laughs> uh, never seen any Power Rangers from Kamen Rider. You should watch Kamen Rider. I should watch. We should do a Kamen Rider watch along. I have a, I have double. It's the only one I have at the moment, but I have double, and I have yet to finish watching it. But it was very, it was very fun. <laughs> I really like the characters there. Kamen Rider. I need to watch more Kamen Rider. But yeah, I am getting very hungry. So I'm gonna end this here. Tomorrow, same time, I'm gonna be playing Atomic Heart. Also here on YouTube. So if you wanna see the Robot Twins or Nora the Thirsty Fridge, do come by. <laughs> um, um, what else? I'll try to farm, I'll try my best to farm everything so I can unlock all the story for next week. So next week, next weekend we finish. I finish reading. But uh, yeah, 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 that's it. So yeah, I always, I'm, I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, you know, end stream. I like talk to people a little bit and then my brain is just so dead. <laughs> then I'm just like, yes, yes. <laughs> a good service discount action here, yes. So yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow, if not next week. And um, oh, next week I'll be trying a new game, short game, uh, or short D and D narrative game kind of thing. So looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, birthday coming soon. Birthday, birthday. Putting this back on. So yeah, I'm gonna go farm. I'm gonna go use my keys before people people die because I have full keys and I haven't used them. <laughs> Thanks for your stream. Thank you for dropping by. So yeah, thank you guys for dropping by. I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun reading this, reading the event. We'll finish next week for sure, for sure. And uh, yeah, 
I'll see you guys next time. So let me get my keys ready here. And uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you again. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night. Sleep well or have a nice day or have a good weekend, etc, etc. And I'll see you next time. So bye-bye. My button was not working.